media and whatever's on their mind. It's crazy. Here's no. your host, it's crazy town. Hey, look who those guys are. Wait, what oh, channel? Hey, that's wait, that's the wrong channel. Wait, wrong show. Kelly. Believe it or not, uh, we are here the, to uh, what's going on? The information uh, that you're looking for. What is going on, All Terrain Nation? Whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, or these badass what, Kelly? Fords. We all seem to like to drive. This has been your all. Oh, this has been. Well, it's the show's this has over. Been all right. Show's yeah. over. Good night, everybody. It was, yeah. it was fun. Uh, this is All Terrain Nation. Wow. You what are wrong you? All Terrain Nation. Wow. That's a whole nother game. This is All Terrain Nation live, presented by who, Kelly? Nobody right now. Damn it, man. No, tonight it's going to be presented by Mark King. We'll say that. How about that? <laughs> okay. Tonight, the show is presented Hello. by Mark King and his long beard. And at at. Yes, the, in the ATAT. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Does Mark officially have a name for his? Is there a name to that? I think it's at at. ATAT? Wild Track. No, but I mean, I didn't, you know, we named the Bronco, you know, it has a yeah, name. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's at at. Uh, Mark is laughing in the background. I was going to say, Allie has Bucky and Mark has a beard. <laughs> Wow. So, I mean, I guess I guess that's where we're at with that. But what is going on, everybody? Sorry, it's a Tuesday because, well. Yeah, like Bronco78 said, April Fool's was yesterday, Dave. Yeah, well, that, you're is, behind. that is true. That is true. But, you just uh, want to have a strong sorry. April Fool's. We're in, we're in, if you're, if you're kind of new to the channel, you've been following along, we're in softball season. So the show schedule might change around just a little bit because, well, we're softball coaches. And my dog over there, what is he doing? He's and a board there. member and an umpire. Yeah. We, so we, we take, have a softball problem. Wait, and speaking of problems, we have a lot of problems here tonight. We got Mr. <laughs> Mark here on here. See Wild at at Trek. I know, but Mark, is that officially the name of the vehicle? I do call the vehicle at at or at at. See, and he says at at, not at at. Man, you brought I the find pimp, it's a you the pimp slap. I just talk. I just always like tell everyone that he has a Star Wars Bronco. <laughs> yeah, and he's wearing his ATN shirt tonight. That's right. Speaking of ATN shirts, look who else is in the house. <laughs> Miss Laura. And her sound's working tonight. Yeah. Yes. We can't. Oh, sorry, Laura. You can't be on if your sound's working. We can only <laughs> click you in and out, in and out. Um, and uh, and another in and out, in and out is Miss Jess. Okay. Hi, Jess. Hey. <laughs> Just I I was like, great, great intro for Jess. There. She's like, I don't know what that means. Right. Um, Sticker Fab was supposed to be on tonight, and they had a last minute thing. Some family thing popped up, and they, uh, even though, like, I feel bad for them because I like every time I would schedule them. Allie's like, hey, well, you know, we have Tom this week, and I was like, damn it. <laughs> and then something else popped up, and I was like, well, well, and then we scheduled for Monday, and then and I was like, you do realize that yeah. we have a softball game on Monday. I was like, damn it. So, so uh, we'll, we'll get oh. Christmas sticker fab one here in the next couple of weeks. But uh, this is uh, it's, it's it's getting close, Kelly. Yes, it is uh, Supercell, which is Tell I'll us. Be in Tennessee in two weeks from today. 14 <laughs> days away, <laughs> 14 days away in three hours. Yeah. Well, who cares about the hours? Uh, uh, every minute counts, obviously. Right, uh, you'll sleep somewhere in there, but uh, so we'll talk a little bit of supercell. I know we've talked about a few weeks, but Bronco Week is in two weeks. The channel we do a lot of Bronco content, mm -hmm. and uh, usually me and Mark seem to run around the event and check stuff out while Kelly makes sure uh, all of our stickers and stuff. Kids don't disappear with our stickers, basically. I have to be the hard ass, imagine that. That's right, you, you. Just uh, get them kids. Um, <laughs> but uh, that and we, we're going to talk some four news. I want to talk some, uh, I'm, I'm curious with the crew here which I've dubbed now the crew. 
the crew. Um, the uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Look, or is there wine in there? Special from Supercell last year. Is it's there not, wine in there? I hope it's not from Supercell. There should be wine in there. <laughs> but um, so we're going to talk a little bit of Ford Off Road, and uh, we got Ranger updates and all that kind of fun. And uh, <laughs> speaking of Ranger updates, people are pissed in these forums right now, like mad, like where's my Ranger? And I'm like, look, man, it takes time. Yeah, you want the best off this Amazon culture. You want the best off road uh, truck? You're gonna have to wait for a few minutes, and um, because yeah. I'm waiting, and uh, I haven't even asked. Wow, I they have to wait because you have to wait. Damn right, I'm Damn. first. It's all about me. I'm well aware. It's all about me, <laughs> but uh, we'll ha- we'll have I some can, updates. About that, I can tell. I'm sure about because it. I do know it's been bedlined. It has been bedlined. The the you know we can throw some trash in there if we had it. So okay. We could we could take stuff to the the recycling bins. We could those real dude real chuck things again, Kelly. So okay. update Carvana still hasn't gotten me. What? I I messaged them today and they're like, we're so sorry. It'll take a couple more days. It's a li- officially been Five, six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. February nineteenth is when I sent them the sticker for what? manual appraisal. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Why is here? So there, um, there's a there's a a video coming once I finally eventually do get an appraisal. If we get it before we sell the vehicle. That is true. That is true. Now, there was a great comment right before the get-go. I want to get to this one. <laughs> DP from Phoenix. Uh, read that out there, Kelly. Says, hey, from Phoenix. Sorry to report that I have a f- severe case of supercellulitis. And that is only going to get better in two weeks with large doses of excitement and enthusiasm. Please help. Well, for one, <laughs> for one, you should talk to your doctor about that because that sounds awful. <laughs> but, but two... <laughs> Yes, two weeks. Uh, two weeks. Is comment of the You've night got a big travel trip. <laughs> What's that? I'm like comment. That one wins for the night for comments tonight. So 100%. far, so far, hundred percent. And you're uh, all challenged. Speaking of that. winning, if you are coming to Supercell, remember, if you're wearing an ATN shirt, you get one of these for free, which is the uh, our sticker that we did for Supercell this year. <laughs> and uh, no, at the event, Mark, at the event. Um, Damn it, sorry. Laura says it too. Yeah. Laura's like, I'm just going to drive the 500 miles just for the free sticker. <laughs> no, uh, she's going to drive 500 and, miles for the one day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we have the uh, the special ATN cup. These little plastic little cups with uh, the it's honest perfect. side and the uh, the new yeah. logo side. And what I say, these are like 10 bucks with something in it. So I'm just going to leave it up it. to your imagination what I can't pour it in there. I can also you might be, be able to. So we'll have some fun at the booth. Uh, next week, Alan's going to be on with Diabolical Inc. to uh, discuss his final plans for Supercell. I don't know if he's got any show deals or whatever, whatever nice. Alan does, so that'll be on. But past that, Kelly, you got any, anything like that kind of show notes we need to get into? Or I won't be here the following week. Yeah. I'll be what? partying with my new company. Um, How convenient. To, I take you to my parties, my Christmas parties and stuff, and yet I don't get to go to yours. I can't help that. I might be looking for a new co-host. That's all I'm going to say. Good luck with that. See how that works no. out. Allie, what's going on in your part of the world, man? Storms, I know, here in Middle Tennessee, all the way up through there. Probably Laura got a little bit. I know Jess. Oh, there's like two feet of snow happening up yeah. in the UP. Ooh. The Uper. The Uper. I think it was uh, Manistee. I don't know. There's like up to 24 inches in some places. I'm like, I'm good. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah Jess, did you get any tornadoes? Um, we didn't, which I was surprised, um, but it's been raining off and on and I've been listening to my house shift all day, just waiting for it to cave wow. in. <laughs> I didn't I mean, sure fine. Fine. We're that that was not recorded on video, by the way. <laughs> I mean, they'd have to prove that anything but the wind did it. Yeah, right. Like, you don't have any big bad wolves around there, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's called then. Mother Nature. You're safe then. You're safe. Mark, um, uh, Clarksville, you guys didn't get hit really just kind of what we're seeing, right? Just the rain and the... Who's that? Mark. Oh, yeah, Mark. Pretty much. Yeah, just uh, heavy rains, high winds this morning. Uh, everything blew off the porch, but, you know, other yeah. than that, we're good. You probably didn't need that, right? Yeah, for those that don't know, our schools, a lot of our schools shut down three hours early today just oh. in anticipation our for sc- potential. Our, our schools are shutting down for the um, the the clips. Yeah. What? Like, Wait, yes. what? Yes. Yeah, our our county schools are shutting down for the eclipse because which we're they, not even in the direct path of it. 
know, but because they're, they're afraid they won't be able to keep the children safe from looking up. And I told Sydney, I was like, I remember us having an eclipse and we had postcards and we were told we couldn't do anything, but like, look at the way that the postcard made the, the symbol on the side of the building, because like the sun would shine through and show the like crescent moon. I went to a country school man. there was some dad with a, and you probably were like, no, no, there was a guy with a couple <laughs> welding mask and, and that was I, That's okay, they doing. cancel school for like any reason now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. well down here, especially. So there's a That's lot of liability. Wild. Everybody's so sue happy. They want to shut, you know, they'd rather not be sued for, you know, a tornado hitting a school or things like that. But somebody posted today something about like when we were raising soft children when we're canceling for tornadoes and things like that. And it was like, I would much rather have her home than have her at school. Like if something were to come through and happen, because but yeah, we were the kids that were down in the hall where we had to go in the boys bathroom every time. And you boys oh, well, see, I'd rather, I'd rather her be home and the door blow open. And then you're like, Sydney, you left the door open and I'm going to come beat your ass. <laughs> and then, then you're all get blown away and you're trying to spank her as you're going up in the tornado. And you'd rather us get blown away in the tornado. Yeah. I mean, there's insurance involved, right? I mean, I mean just was talking about it, right? Yeah. But know. can't we keep the kids inside? Like that's what we had to do. We had to stay inside. Right. I don't know. <laughs> All right. We're not this isn't uh this isn't Mother Nation over here, by the way. But <laughs> wow. Oh my lord. Um you are special today. Yeah, something like speaking of special. <laughs> Always. Always. You know, you know why he always does that at, when I'm not quite ready is so that he can drink. <laughs> I don't know what button you pushed over there. It's, it's, you don't need to worry about it. Oh, I don't need to worry about it. I see how it is. Justin Zimmerman in the house. Ooh, we're going to see Justin in a couple weeks. We are. We are. I did request with Tom last week. Remember, we requested mm-hmm. that the Mountains to Metal booth be near us. Yep. And, I, uh, and, and um, Heidi. Yeah. And Heidi. And I enjoy, like Italian. we just want our own little our own little spot. Yeah, we just want to be near all the peeps, all the fun peeps. Actually, I have the full list of everything. Nice, nice. Yeah, we've learned that Allie is uh helping social uh, media no. now over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we're announcing it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was a secret. <laughs> Jesus, you always open your mouth when it's not your <laughs> story to tell. <laughs> anyway, I, I haven't this. told anybody yet. I was going to say she's helping by broadcasting a whole bunch anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, Joshua Rittenhouse in the in the house. Rittenhouse in the house. Uh, Jack Evans says it will be my first supercell. Looking forward to it. And let's see. Michael Nice says bring on the Tuesday talk. Eric Jefferson said my Ranger Raptor is getting close. Do you realize that's the nicest thing Michael Nice has said? I know. <laughs> Isn't it? It's awful nice of Michael Nice. That was nice of him. Um, Al Chioni Ford, who we also have talking on uh, talking on with us tonight. No, technically that's Laura uh, 85. Boston. Why don't you try to pronounce that? No, thank you. That's what I thought. Keep your hush. Vesson. Keep your mouth Vason? shut. Vason? It's Laura Boston. Boston. I don't know. Yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> you couldn't even say Al Chioni for a long time. I don't want to hear it. I said it much better than you did. That is true. That is true. Uh, David Carlson in the house. Let's say uh, Eric Jefferson says, well, our tracker says it should be at our rail yard on Sunday. So hopefully our trackers or our truckers can get it to me next week. Nice. I know Eric's been texting me like, like it's, it's like updates. He's making me jealous. Crazy, crazy. Uh, Mark King, who's also in the chat, but also on the camera with us this evening. Mr. <laughs> at, at. Mr. At, at. Uh, Randy Shank, Bronco 78 Adventures, Kevin Hawthorne, uh, David Carlson. Um, let's see. I'll try Nation in there somewhere. <laughs> Just being funny. Uh, Allie Dubois, Valley Dude 5000, Eric Jefferson. We already said, miss, hey. Uh, Raptor? I hadn't gotten there yet. Oh, he was I'm next. Sorry. I'm sorry. Jeez. Our, our Raptor 24 says, I'm here now. You can start the show. <laughs> oh. what are you doing? Between him and Impa Joe, we're good. <laughs> Um, Jack Evans says I fell asleep last uh, 10 minutes I'll never make it 90 minutes we'll catch the replay <laughs> hey that's a good uh, good conversation to have why don't you why don't you tell us what's going on with ATN live what's going on with it what's going on with ATN live nothing didn't we have a conversation before our live tonight nothing's going guess on guess what that. I get to break the news so 
<laughs> we decided we're going to keep ATN live open. We still are. But we feel like a lot of people are probably missing out on the lives. You were having, you were trying to share our alley or somebody was trying to share something. It was they, me. Couldn't, they couldn't search it for something. Yeah. So I couldn't share a video oh, was- early. Well, I couldn't either. So Allie, I couldn't blurry. find it. Yeah. You're yeah, blurry. Um, I was struggling to find a video and <laughs> of our own channel. So um, he kind of looked at things and he said, you know what? Maybe we'll just go ahead and go back to the old way. Well, so we'll we still, are going to keep gonna lives bro- here. We're going to broadcast over yeah. there still. But. So we're still going to broadcast over there, but you can still check catch them here as well on replay. So just so you know. Yeah. We tried the experiment and it, we it decided did, yeah, it didn't work out. It wasn't as successful as we were hoping. So. Anyway, so just so y'all know, um, Bud Guy eighty eight twenty nine, Michael Cooper in the house, and let's see. Hold on. <laughs> Bye, Allie. <laughs> Joshua Allie Rittenhouse says, uh, "Just did a road trip with my Everglades. Wow, does this thing still get some serious attention?" Nice. And Jessica checking in this evening. We're let's back. See. <laughs> You're back. There it is. Blue Collar Velocity says, it's a party. Um, Kevin Hawthorne says, Tampa, Florida will do a story on me at the Citrus Connection bus terminal terminal in Lakeland, oh, yeah. Florida. Yeah, Kevin's, I've talked to Kevin privately about set. He, he does a lot of cool stuff helping people get on buses. Very cool. Very cool. Um, let's see. Empa Joe checking in this evening. Gia Hogue checking in with her ATN family, she says. Bird Dog mm. Off-Road Adventures. Um, let's see. I wonder how you is or how you're packing this building bird dog i know you're i know you're like in the home stretch for that so mm-hmm. um i had a move last year before supercell and like literally the day after and that sucked yeah i'm sure yeah. we, we used to sell we used to sell a house every not intentionally no. two to two to five years during the middle of one of our i literally to came to back. supercell last year in boxes yeah that was really Jason cool. Leopold checking in this evening and NM Trucker um, said we had to hide under the desk in an atomic explosion. Well, that would keep you safe, right? I right, Mark? Say. Mark, you 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 know weapons better than any of us here, probably. You're ex-military. <laughs> would that <laughs> help? <laughs> in a I don't think so. Well, no, this it's proven. The school desk is like it yeah. puts this invisible shield around you yeah. and you're good. Mm-hmm. Ronald Strode checking in on Facebook this evening as well. See, Mark knows. <sighs> Just like Indiana Jones was in the refrigerator in that awful one. But this is wow. a movie night. We won't go into that. Uh, well, everybody, welcome in. Definitely uh, around 50 people in here, only 20 likes. If you guys would definitely smash. Believe it or not, that helps the channel a great deal is when you smash that like button. It, it tells YouTube, hey, they're interesting somewhat. So. I want to know how many people is their first time going to Supercell this year. Yes, well, uh, let's put up a poll. I was going to say, why don't you put up a poll, David? Well, why don't you entertain our guests while I do that? Then? So Blue Collar Velocity says, do you think 100 stickers will be enough uh, for Saturday at Supercell? So this is turning into a whole thing. <laughs> Mine are coming in not expecting. <laughs> well, Allie, you've been like sprinkling it all over the internet for you right. know, all over the internet i know but i didn't think that many people would actually do it that's the thing like i was thinking like if we got like 50 like that would be cool and like i'm thinking it's like 100 plus yeah we may have to order some last minute (laughs) what do you think i was doing today for the giveaway only (laughs) i'm not participating in that that's ali's thing Wow, you we're don't here to want you we're don't, here to make cheddar. I was gonna cheddar. say you don't want your you stuff support? sprinkled in everybody's cars. Not yeah. that gross. Why did I go there? Wow, I didn't say oh, it was more. Early. Will you it work on the fault. pole and hush your mouth? Like, geez, geez. What is wrong with you? Um, and Peugeot says if I drove to Supercell, I would hit a hundred thousand. Dude, that's crazy. Do don't don't talk about, about it. Be about it. Anything. We just rolled over twenty nine thousand today. Oh my god. Take some miles for everybody. Oh. Hey, 7,000 before our warranty mileage. runs out. He's fine. Oh. <laughs> oh. She says, Mom. All right, pulls up. There. Misspellings and all, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, so, yep, Bronco's misspelled. Bron- right. Bronco. Bronco. Well, leave it. Who cares? It's me. <laughs> it is you. You know, I'm a journalist that can't spell. 
Yeah. I, I always hesitate to comment on some of the auto journalist stuff because I'm like, somebody's going to flame me. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, in some, we're in some uh, private groups. And yeah, you're there's the writers and then there's the idiot YouTubers like me. And, you know, yeah, you're I'm a, I'm too. I'm like, mm, how do you spell? I'm like, how do I articulate this in the correct way that makes sense? I before and E, I before E. I, I got that. that part. Okay. I'm oh, talking right. about is it going to make sense as I type it? I don't even know what buttons you. Push I don't even know what I push that time me. either. It was awesome. Um, let's see. So the poll is live. Go ahead and vote. Uh, only twenty nine likes. We need we need a few more likes, guys. Come on now. And Bring if you are you. joining us from a different platform than YouTube, the poll is only on YouTube. So you'll have to see it over. That is here. correct. Vote yes. Vote. yes. Huh? How much have you had to drink before I walked up here tonight? Not enough. I, 100 <laughs> stickers. Uh, back to that. I think that will be plenty. I really do. Sure. Allie says, I don't know. We're going with it. Well, think about so, it. It's like, like Halloween candy, right? You run out, you run out. You move yeah, on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they they should have been there sooner. <laughs> um, I, We're going to put the the Mark and Jess. They sent us the, uh, band, the little thing for our, our patches. We're going to have that up at our booth. If you want to throw one of your patches on there, go ahead. The tailgate of the Bronco will be uh, live for if you want to put your sticker on the tailgate, go for it. So uh, it's in it's in play, Mark. As just well. please try Is not to put it over other stickers, stickers if you don't have to. Wait, you're gonna let people put their own stickers on? I know. Yeah. Once he started saying that, I was feeling a little a little I'm something like, I'm about way it. Way too type A for that. I I have all the anxiety. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning. I'm OCD. Um, yeah. and yeah, that's that's probably not gonna work for me. <laughs> I'm trying so, to figure out what to do for Supercell. I have everything on a poster. So like, I love y'all, but please don't put them on my tailgate. <laughs> Too late. Do I done said it. <laughs> Just put a I little basket. It. Like people can leave their stickers in, in your basket. 100%. On your but then, I'll be honest. Every, then every little kid is going to be put sticking it. Like Jess, little or kids. Or they'll try to take our stickers. This, this sounds awful, and I'm not Scrooge McDuck here. But like you have stickers out in your booth. Like you're hoping to like sell them, at least recover some of your money from this. And this is before Ali's sticker event. And every little kid hits you up with those little sad puppy dog guys, of like, or you see him just like in dark. You're like, they're a guy. So for the pay stickers, they have a tackle box that they've put together. Yep. For this year. Yes. So, with a big master lock on it, you're good to go. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> it's like snapped and closed. That I'll never remember the 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 little <laughs> high school thing. You know, little spindle. It's true story. That's bring true. Four <laughs> right. What is going on, girlfriend? I'm gonna bring four locks and, and a pair of bolt cutters. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, R Raptor 24. I know it's not for me; it's for Dave. I know. Hey, you know there's what? There's a little I biasness did. there. So, I get it. So since I don't recall if we talked about it last week, uh, Allie, we had privately said this was gonna happen, but uh, Ranger Ranger Raptor School. It's going to be out in Utah. We really didn't get to discuss that too much. Um, I know Laura had has has Ford officially talked to dealers about how that's going to work, or do you guys know anything about it? I love they always tell the journalists more than you guys ever get to know. I mean, there's art. I mean, it's there's really nothing to know though. It's the same thing as the Bronco School or the Raptor Assault School. Yeah, well, I mean, but some people may be their first Ford. Yeah, so they don't know how that works. Well, and I mean, it. There's a QR code on the window sticker of the vehicle right. for like any Raptor, Bronco Raptor, F-150 Raptor, or like any of the Broncos. You just scan it, and mm -hmm. that's your like the salesperson's job to point it out. Do they? Most of them, no. But that's you just register it just like you do Bronco off rodeo. But yeah. like they they won't talk to us about it. I wish they would, but they don't. How weird. Like, hey, we want to promote this, but we don't want to promote this. Uh, but if you guys are new, uh, there for Raptors, there will be a special uh, training day, and uh, you have to fly yourself out there. It's not a, it's not a, like all expenses included, but they do cover the cost of one person to attend the. the uh, it's a full day of running their courses, and they kind of teach you how to how to operate the vehicle properly. You guys have been big on the off rodeos. Sorry, love yeah, off rodeo. Ahead. Keep going. Um, Laura but, loves off rodeo. <laughs> so I'm excited. <laughs> Look at her. Look at I her rubbing her hands. So much fun. Oh and I don't but think Jess, you haven't been to an off rodeo like yet, right? Fine. 
I went, yeah, I went, um, uh, last two Octobers ago. Oh, okay. That um, was BK. That was before Kelly. Yes. I'm sure what that <laughs> has to do with that. Yeah. Okay. I went, um, on the women's nice. day out in Vegas. Oh, nice. 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 Yeah. But so the- Allie and I went to women's day in Texas and never met while we were there. Actually, yeah. super funny. I was going through my pictures from the first year of Supercell, and I have a picture of y'all's Bronco. Really? Really? <laughs> On my phone, yeah. That's funny. But um, <laughs> no. What I was gonna say about the like the Raptor school and stuff, like yeah, Ford wants to push it, but like at the same time, they don't really give us the tools and stuff like for it. Yeah. Like, yeah. We don't have B-roll. We don't have. Like, if they did, like, a video that we can even, like, turn our monitor to, like, play to our customers saying, here you go. Well, yeah, you can, you can get they don't do media. You can get there. They have B-roll of the whole Yeah, thing but up. what she's saying is they don't proactively send yes. a packet oh, out for them. I get yeah. that, yeah. Like, yeah. it's, like, the only reason, like, I preach off rodeo is just because, like, I've been there. That's well, that's don't really you worry, awesome. Allie. When we get to go, we will make a promo video for you to share with every single one of your customers. Oh, thanks. How about that? There we go. She's like, dang. They look at you <laughs> like you're nuts. You're, they're like, what? Right? They're like, what? <laughs> Assault. I don't know what she's doing. Know, she's doing so I could, weird. I couldn't things. remember it exactly, but here, we'll, we'll bring this up here as we talk about this. Um, so they've had this for quite a while for F-150s. And uh, I know Jess, uh, what's his name? Your buddy up there uh, He with his Raptor. I know he went to it. Who? Jess is like, who's my buddy? <laughs> oh, well, you came down to Jason. To oh, Jason. Jason. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't sorry. remember Jason. He doesn't have the Raptor anymore. So I was like, I don't know what you're yeah. talking about. because he. No, but he went to the school. Yeah, I know. yeah he's got the TRX. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, now he's got a TRX. But uh, they're going to do this. This isn't just for, you know, Rangers, but they do it for F-150s. And it, from what I've seen, it, it looks really, really cool. Um, I know Tim and them, when they got to do the press drives, they got to do a small version of this. Fingers crossed, since we didn't get invited to the press drive, they will let us cover this at some point. Because the bummer about it is, it's expensive. Like, you yeah. thought Bronco was expensive yeah. to add a person? This is a whole other level of, like, yeah. expensive. So... Yeah, it's. I want to say it was fifteen hundred dollars or more. Oh, I'll do some research while you Yikes. talk. You know, you had your own your own system for this at one point. I did. It wasn't working well for me. See that? Um, but I'm I'm interested in going, and I I did reach out to uh, our, our raptor. And I was like, hey, Ooh. we should do it together. Yeah, told you it's fifteen hundred bucks. You can take me, Dave. <laughs> you, okay. See, Laurel, go. Look, I, I wasn't. I didn't know you wanted to show. Dave, I told you it'd be plus one. Whoa, whoa, sir! You get to work that day. It's Utah. Utah's my favorite state too. What, Kelly? You act like, like Utah is your safe zone or something away from me. You go on all these trips without me to Utah. I've only been to Utah. You went to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Would you still? I think you went. That's not you, know. No, but I thought you went to part of Utah at that point. Geography is not your first. How many times did you go to Moab without me first? I can't talk about that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, I have confidentiality agreements. I've signed. Yeah, so fifteen hundred bucks yeah. for a guest, and you can bring one. Sorry, Bart. <laughs> but you still have to share here. a Raptor while you're driving, right? So yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, that's the one thing I don't, I don't understand. It is the expense of because wouldn't the raptor course out in vegas pretty expensive to bring or do did you ever figure out the price of that one or me oh. yes, right. me. My rat. <laughs> well, you were gonna you were trying to go to the one you were trying to go to that one out in vegas that me and kelly no attended. i have not priced it out she didn't yet. get a chance to go yet no but i didn't know if you priced it out to see what it was no but Hold on. i'm looking on the website right now Joshua Rittenhouse says, speaking of stickers, shout out to Broncos of Texas for showering us with all those sweet stickers and much, much more. I don't want to go in. Um, our Raptor, sir. Oof. <laughs> I'm fighting words right there. <laughs> Man, you go give him the stare down through the camera? I just did. So, Bronco... <laughs> 
So Bronco Raptors a thousand. Nine ninety five. Bronco Raptors a thousand. Yeah. Man, what I mean, you know, y'all remember when when the the off rodeos came out? What was it like three hundred bucks or something for your guest? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, what? What? And then now, what is it, Allie? Five ninety five. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Damn. Inflation. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Uh, but I'm I'm seriously interested in doing this only for. I mean, honestly, when it comes into that, I think a lot of it has to do with insurance. Oh yeah, hundred mm-hmm. percent. Well, they do. You get Yetis and stuff, and yeah, yeah. but it's not five hundred ninety-five dollars worth of Yetis. Well, but you think about the <laughs> Yeti that that you got for off rodeo. It, that's I mean, they're hundred dollars to buy them damn things. So they're not that expensive. Have you met a Yeti? Have you bought a Yeti? <laughs> no, I keep getting them for free. <laughs> Same things. Uh, <laughs> they're expensive. Last time I checked, they're not a hundred dollars. How much are those? Like, like twenty five at most. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Yes, they are. No, no water bottle is not Yeti brand. You oh. you entertain our guests. So this yeah. Yeti, depending on which Yeti you get, from like thirty to sixty dollars. Yeah. yeah. Well, sixty's like closer. How everybody knew it, but you. Sixty's <laughs> closer to a hundred than than. Uh, then 20. <laughs> Look, Mark's got a Yeti. I've got a Yeti. $30. Does that come with the lid and everything? $30, yeah, $30 David. Oh, they got an orange Yeti. one. Oh. oh, God. They probably have this color one, too. Oh, the lime is awesome. They have carbonized gray ones. <laughs> Nobody likes gray, Jess. Come what? on. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I know there's like three people. In it's this. like all Team Gray over here. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. I just realized that this is a Ford chat. If we got nothing but gray vehicles, this is a good <laughs> Ford chat. Representation here of Ford brand. Gray and blue because they're doing the peak blue for this year. Oh, so cool. I love that color. So, would you guys do that? Would you like if you? I mean, obviously, you know, I'm the only, I'm Team Raptor over here. Um. Would y'all would y'all be interested in that course, like getting to learn how to desert run one of these things and really like? Here's the thing. I mean, same with Bronco. You can only learn so much at the dealer. Oh, one hundred percent, yes. I mean, do you do you find though, Laura? Well, I know probably Allie sells probably more Raptors than you guys do. You Mm -hmm. are a little smaller dealership, but I mean, do you is that something customers kind of are interested in, or do they look at the scan bar and just like, "Eh, what does that mean? Who cares? Yeah, pretty much. Is that free corn? <laughs> I have to show them the videos. I'm like, you have to do it. Like, yeah. And you're like, and take me along with you. <laughs> is that a requirement to buy a vehicle from what you, Laura, is like, I have to go on a trip with you at some point. Where are we going? <laughs> yes. No, but it's probably offered more often than Allie gets offered because she is a small town dealer. I would guess. Probably. I don't know. Well, you should said probably. Don't care, though. Our dealer's not that small. Laura's is no, I thought you were talking about Allie's. I was no, like, No, I'm saying Laura probably gets more offers to go on trips because people know her from her sit her town. Hey man, we're we're top 50 in the nation. We're doing good. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. Gosh, y'all are reading into you're, this wrong. You've just targeted two presidential award winning Laura, dealers. <laughs> yeah. You said you don't even have you what you don't have a Starbucks, right? Right. Okay. Allie, do you have saying. a Starbucks in Brighton? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Probably more wow. than one. Wait, wait, uh, wait I'm really, sorry, but that's a big comparison small, to me. Wait, really shit on small town America. Do no, you, do you I, have we a, don't uh, have a stoplight in our entire town. No, she's told me she doesn't even have a stoplight. See, they're small town. She's like, don't what I'm saying is everybody knows her and everybody <laughs> loves Laura. Well, okay. I think so. Oh gosh, I can't even. Well, if you. it helps Laura, I have to drive an hour to get to Starbucks or Target. So oh. I'm pretty much nowhere. Wow. That's unacceptable. <laughs> Mark, do you uh, occasionally put your pinky up and drink Starbucks? Uh, I think there's five Starbucks within 30 minutes of me. Way to flaunt in front of Laura like that. <laughs> Jeez. All the bougie coffee. <laughs> we have Seven Brew here, which has my favorite energy drink. Rob, like there's Red a Bull. lot of dealers doing this. Yes. I mean, especially I remember you know, obviously during the pandemic, that was a big thing, but yeah, like I bought a Honda element brand new one time and signed the paperwork. Nobody cares. Signed the paperwork. It was the first internet deal I ever did in 2005. 
Sign the paper. Back in my day. Would you let me finish the gym story? Welcome to my life. Welcome to Marital Nation. <laughs> Sign the paperwork on the hood of it. The guy goes, would you like to test drive it? I was like, no, it's a car, man. They all drive the same pretty much anymore. Like, I just want that vehicle. And but they done. don't. I just no. delivered a mock okay. to a person that would not respond to my calls, would not respond to my emails, would only text. And I delivered it right out to his house in Royal Oak and never talked to him once. You realize that, that's how you get murdered, right? Yeah, right. That's Safety shocking. second alley. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I, no, we send drivers. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. Like, you didn't I deliver it. Murdered, like our okay. dealer train drivers would be getting murdered. You're like, do the Ford pass. <laughs> like, yeah, that's I. I make them activate it before they leave. Before the car leaves the lot. <laughs> yep. That's crazy. Where, why is Allie not showing up for the stream? Well, she delivered a car. <laughs> She's at, she gone. I can't believe you thought that those water bottles were $100. They used to be more expensive. I swear to God, Yetis used to be more expensive. No, it's just welcome to 2024. <laughs> Everything costs more money, so you don't realize how much $30 used to be. That's true, too. It used to be. Well, $30 used to be a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Jess gets it. $30 yeah, and now that's like what you spend at Starbucks. <laughs> oh, no, we, no. Go, we take our son and daughter to dinner and it's $100 now easily. Yeah, we go to the Mexican restaurant and we're dropping $100 easy. And no drinks. If you know, no, we've had no drinks here lately. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But they do know our order by, by heart. <laughs> they do. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway. So, Mark, what have you had for Supercell? I know we've we've talked privately, but you're getting your vehicle ready. You've got a new wrap on it. Uh, it's pretty exciting. I think people are going to like that. What have you been doing to get your vehicle ready? Wait, you're getting a new wrap? So, already did. I did. Yeah. Ali, I, I yeah. Check it's his already Instagram. Done. I have a complete custom wrap. Um, I'll bring it up. They uh, took panels off of an ATAT. And uh, custom fit it to the Bronco so it truly looks like an ATAT -AT as opposed to just the graphics on the side. So, uh, and it's 3D detailed. Um, it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, it turns a lot of heads. But um, so I got it wrapped. Uh, I reinstalled the soft top from the summer. Um, yeah, there's the new wrap. Very soft cool. top's back on it. Uh, I just for the installed uh, white knuckle off road sliders. Soft top uh, so I, I did. I got a white knuckle off road sliders. I had the factory, the Ford ones that mounted the pinch welds and uh, wanted something sturdier. Um, and white knuckle is definitely sturdier. So, um, <laughs> and then uh, upgraded some Oracle lighting, uh, a few cosmetic wait, changes. Wait, wait, what? what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Time out, time out. Where are we at with Oracle Lighting? Because we, we've, I've got to follow you on this. What am I? Know, what do I got to go by now? <laughs> so, uh, you know, Dave and I both have the uh, the Halo or or the Oculus. Excuse me, the Oculus headlights. Um, I have the flesh mount tails, uh, which Kelly isn't too thrilled on. I haven't convinced her yet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Then I upgraded the flesh mount my, my tails. Boys, oh. be quiet. Uh, <laughs> was, was, yep, all, all the dogs. Yeah, all the dogs. Um, I upgraded the flush mounted tail lights with the amber turn signals. Uh, oh, nice. I got Oracle's new uh, Vega pod lights on the front. Um, so just some co cosmetic stuff. I do have an upgrade come to. Uh, my sway bar on the front uh i've got the um boss four by four uh walker link shocks for the sway bar because i have a wild track i do not have the sway bar disconnect uh wow, wanted a little more articulation <laughs> so uh went with the walker link sway bar um as opposed to a manual disconnect to get me and you've uh, done more uh, than i knew a you little were more doing. needless to say it looks a little different than last year just a little it does the whole <laughs> new bronco <laughs> <laughs> well now we're gonna that uh, now we're not nothing 
Calm down, Dave. One, we've spent <laughs> enough money on it. That is true. That is true. We've spent a lot of money on this. Bronco. Two, we don't have any more time. Yeah. Yeah, we're like yeah. out of time. Um, we've got our rear bumper yeah, at hey, the. IAG will st- will put the stuff on at the show. And if they're in chat, they get they get. There are so the only things that I like want to do to Bucky is I want the raptor like those three lights, the orange lights. Oh yeah, redid the grill too. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. You can get them built in, Allie. Mark did that. Yeah, too. yeah get, I got I got the, the, IAG's the front grill X clad. Oh, there you go. Well, here's a company RPM. I don't get anything from this, but these guys are cheaper than anybody I've seen on the. It's the same international, you know, whatever you want from, from, um, you know, every other company that sells an international brand. But I will show you this real quick. This is their grill two nineteen with the Raptor lights included. There you go. That we have to install. No, you just plug them in. But I know, but we still have to. Yeah. That's what I mean. We still have to plug them in. But that's cheaper than anybody else. And I've ordered. This is who I ordered our Raptor Girl from. So I wouldn't recommend them if I didn't think they would they would come through. But these guys are silly cheap on their their parts. So, and I look, the look, they actually work. Things. You can tell the Raptor Gill things on the side there. I wish they made something like that, but I don't think they do. I've seen some. I'm obsessed. That. I love that. Gonna get like after. <laughs> are you bringing? <laughs> are you bringing a limited heritage to a Supercell? Yeah, I need to. I've I've tried she to. She said talk I need to. <laughs> that would be. Fun. I still think you need to bring the limited heritage to Supercell. I did too. Yeah, I think the boys would appreciate the extra color. space too. Yeah, probably. That case of wine would appreciate that. It's yeah, an extra case of wine would would appreciate that space too. Yes, that's for the little little doohickey thing in the back there. <laughs> With the drain plug in it. Yeah, no, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of that. Um, man, that was something. That was something when I was up in Michigan a few weeks ago. I saw a bunch of those everywhere. Mm-hmm. What's up? The the kind of heritage looking ones. Yeah. So that uh, peak blue is officially coming out for 24. I did see that. Did you put I, your I, order in yet, Allie? <laughs> I'm waiting to see if we get allocation. <laughs> Who cares? Yes. <laughs> I saw a ton. Of heritage in Franklin this weekend too, so love it. Allie, did you post that picture up today? Uh, I put it in our chat. I didn't know if you had put it on. It's gone your... public with it. Uh, yeah, it's on my Instagram. All right, here's one. So if you guys don't know, I'll throw this up here. This is on Allie. If you want some inside stuff, Allie just happens to live in the best place in the world for to see new Ford products running mm-hmm. around. Yes, uh, I do. But that's peak Look blue. At it. And it is a two-door testing that. trailering. I love it. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Yes, that's a great that is a great color on that. And that's a color. Those are colors Ford should just be doing anyways. I don't it drives me crazy. The grays, you know, I know that's team gray here, but they need some colors in the lineup, man. That's one thing Jeep does better than them, and they haven't got to that standard yet. It's just we need some color options. Yeah. Um, Jeep, even I know that you don't like the lime green or highlighter green right now, but there's somebody that that would appeal to me mainly. But, um, Dave, some or a bright orange, but some sort of you can do for six months of one color, you know, change it up. Jeep does that and they do real well. Is that how that. that works? You just have a vehicle for six months no. and you, well, they... if you notice, that's what Ford's doing right now. Well, they haven't With talked the heritage about it. limited, so we'll see how this goes. Well, they they need to though they really do need desperately need agreed. to agreed uh, rapid red there needs to be more rapid red, which is strange because I would have thought the Bronco or the Ranger Raptor would have got rapid red because the F one fifty does. So it was funny um, talking to some Ford people over that because we were talking about antimatter blue and rapid red. Like, the go rate for that really was not that high, which is one of the main reasons they got rid of it. I love it. For rapid they, red? No, it wasn't. But they didn't give any of the damn colors a chance when you're no. like killing it four months after you released. Well, and the here's vehicle. the and here's the thing: you couldn't build all the vehicles, so everybody changed their like. We changed our original color. Our original color was what Area Fifty One, I think, on our ori- very original or mm-hmm. Cactus Gray. One Are of the you two. Just it was area to say hi? So like it was Area Fifty One on our reservation or our initial order, but then when we 
went to actually change it from being a 99 status, we chose rapid red. So there were so many people that had their orders on hold that could have potentially changed it had they seen the colors <laughs> in person. Well, then you couldn't get the antimatter blue, so they didn't, they couldn't pick it. Either. Yeah, exactly. Here, antimatter here, blue yeah. is so under, is so underrated. Mm -hmm. Like it looks. I'll so tell you good. right now, it's on the F one fifty, and it scratches so easy. Really? Oh, I, oh, I'm sure. Trust me, it scratches it's, easy on a Bronco too. I was putting so the doors bad. back on. Oh, on our rapid red. Yeah, I was yeah. putting the doors back on, and a good thing I have wrap there because. <laughs> Front yeah, doors I've, by yourself is a damn nightmare. I've chipped mine a few times. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Somebody yeah, had to work their job. We're supposed yeah. to see um, painted roofs here soon. The peak blue will be coming out job too. And, some uh, other and there's some new, I, I know some new, there's some new things on the interior coming up that I got, I got to see, which was really cool. And a lot of good Bronco content about to come up. But uh, speaking of good content, I gotta show this. I got I gotta give give the old shout out there. Laura, that doesn't look like you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not you, is it? That's a lie. Oh. <laughs> no, I know that is not me. <laughs> so Laura, you guys got in the <laughs> new <laughs> I have new pictures. I just haven't gotten all them up yet. <laughs> but it's just messing. So you guys got in the new uh, the new F-150 Raptor. How do you like yeah, it? Yeah, you got one before we did. Ours is supposed to show up the end of this week. I got wow. I got a gray one before that, but it, it sold in like a day. And then this guy, he capped out on it. So I, he won't answer me. I'm like, hello, are you here? Raptor's in. So I'm, I'm selling it. He's not getting back to me. So Yeah, uh, 37s on this one and $91,000, which is, you know, it's kind of funny. You can get a Ford F-150 Raptor cheaper than you can get the Bronco Raptor. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But That's I did have thing. a good... I would rather have an F-150 Raptor than a Bronco Raptor. Agreed. I probably would, too. But I, I did talk to a uh, someone who was on the show previously, and we were talking about this this weekend. And, dude, he was praising... This is a Jeep guy, and he was praising the Bronco Raptor. <laughs> He's like, that is the by far the most capable vehicle <laughs> in its segment. He's like, because I was like, well, what do you think of the 392 and the Jeep and stuff? He's like, that's a cool engine. At no means does that thing keep up with with what the uh, <laughs> the Bronco Raptor can do. So, and he's going to be Ranger on, Raptor, or the yeah, no, the, the Bronco Raptor. Oh, the Bronco Raptor. But uh, he's going to be on the show here in a few weeks. So, uh, let's get that a little bit further. But uh, Laura, I'm I think you picked the white. I think it's a good color on this thing. Um, I shared I shared this, and uh, I had people going, "Well, what's the deal?" And I was like, "It's oh. MSRP. That's the deal, like, right?" Like you guys don't That's realize the steel. Right? <laughs> it's a new model. Do they call is this actually a next gen? Is it a gen four or is it still that like, kind of like eh? uh, I still well, think it's gen four technically. Yeah. Or is it just so they're are they considering this a refresh or is this a whole new raptor? No, it's just a refresh. Oh, okay. Just like the uh, I will say I like the front end of the previous version well, still better. All they all they did was change the front end and the mm -hmm. um rear end that's it like all the technology packages are the same nothing's horsepower is the same everything's the same right i'm sorry uh, good graphics on this one she um, looks good yep yeah. if i, I like could have one in my if driveway only. if you guys would smash that like button i could probably afford to uh <laughs> to, to have that in my driveway but you guys don't love Sm us smash the like away but yes. it's probably still not gonna happen yes but it's it's their fault right mm-hmm you broke my heart, people. Wow. Um, uh, Roar, do y'all still have the Bronco Raptor? No, they just sold it. Yes. The black one? Uh -huh. Oh, I thought you sold yeah. it. I think we saw the white one. one. Yeah. It was close. So where are you guys at with that? Somebody was asking earlier about that, right? Did they think the prices? How do you drop prices without? Oh, I didn't see it. Um, at, Where do you, Allie, you both, where do you guys see that? That vehicle, man, I, it's too expensive now. People want it at uh, eighty one thousand. I'm like, I can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> I have a lot of people arguing about. Like, I think it'd be fair at eighty. Yeah, I yeah, was, gonna buy, I I was gonna buy one at eighty before everything happened with Maya. I was trying to get price protection on an Azure Gray one, and I mean, I'm glad I didn't take it now just because of everything that happened with Maya. But like, 
ever we had so much interest on Bronco Raptor. I've had one sitting on my lap for like three months now. Nobody wow, wants really? to pay. A, nobody wants to pay a hundred grand for this thing. No. I don't. I mean, I don't blame them. I don't either. But mm -mm. Ford saw what dealers were marking them up as. Yep. And they wanted a piece of it. And now you can't bring it back down because you're just gonna. I mean, look what just happened with Mach E. You just knocked off ten grand. Yeah, now they're uh, selling. An electric vehicle, and everyone who has already bought these things are now stuck with them, and they yep. have all this negative equity right out of the gate. So I don't know. I think it's going to get really interesting with MSRP pricing. Just like yeah, I don't know how you like lower the price. I don't know how you lower the price of a vehicle like that without like just ruining the market of it. In in at some point they have to, right? I mean, do you start? Is a way to do that is you just start offering big rebates on it, like ten k rebates? Or I know they haven't really done that to Broncos yet, but I, I mean, there was I an article a that came out on, on Bronco. There is now on twenty threes. I was gonna say I know Ford Authority had an article talking about, and it was a little biased against Ford, which is unusual for them, but. They were talking about, yeah, you know, the, the sales were down for the last quarter of 23. And I was like, well, there was that big strike. So it's hard to sell yeah. something if you can't get something. Uh, but, but you know, Bronco, I know I will say from the channel, Bronco interest is down a little bit. So mm -hmm. I would assume that equates to dealers as well, right? Because I'm seeing dealers here that have 10 They're of them sitting. just sitting there. Mm -hmm. We have, like, we have some constantly coming in now. So, like, we have 20 at a time. Like wow. you don't have problem like getting them, but they don't sit real long. Like the regular Broncos don't. Bronco Raptor has, um, just because the mm -hmm. price point. But like, right. I found three like last month that like we didn't have, and like they just wouldn't budge on options. But like mm -hmm. dealers are giving them up, and like dealers are trading. Like they're out there. If you want a Bronco, like it's mm -hmm. it's readily. You don't have to order. Yeah. Which is nice, but. But the other thing is, too, like, people know the refresh is coming. People know Bronco has been out for tw since 21. Like, people are just kind of waiting to see, like, what's going to change. Because they know, based on Ford's habits, mm -hmm. 25 and 26 is going to be that year. Yeah. Uh, so, Wild, Wild Track Crew would, would you know, that you guys thought you bought the ultimate, ultimate uh, uh, play toy. Now that there's a Raptor out there, uh, I know Mark doesn't want to demod his to trade it in, but I mean, why that, you mean all those mods he recently? Did? Well, he's a two door guy, anyways. He's he's crazy, but um, <laughs> like Jess, is there appealing to you? Was there ever appealing to you once you saw the Raptor to be like, hmm, maybe? Not really. Like I don't really love the look of it. Um, it's too beefy, just like beefy. Um, and oh, for me, slim down, Mark. I'm <laughs> I'm just. I'm kind of a Raptor elitist. Like, if I'm going to get a Raptor, I'm going to get an F-150, period. Yeah. Um, you know, no offense to anybody else that has, uh, you know, other Raptor versions or other ones coming. But, you know, to me, a Raptor is always going to be an F-150. And my Bronco does fine for what I need to do with it for now. Yeah. And well, I can't do premium gas in it. Like, that's not, I can't do premium right now. Like, I need all the unleaded. All the 87s. <laughs> <laughs> right. Have you have you driven one in a fun way yet, Jess? Like a, a, a or have you driven one at all? A, a Raptor? No. Yeah. All oh. right. So at Supercell, we got our first ride in a Raptor last year at Supercell. <laughs> Jess needs a ride in a, in a Raptor at Supercell. So, so I, I have been cruising around Bronco lately. Or, uh, <laughs> Steel Bronco. Yeah, some Steel Bronco. Yeah, used to be in the pets. I'm ready. I'll try it out. You might. I might change my tune. I want to well, take Kelly got to drive it. I got to kind of sit in the driver's seat for a minute, but he literally sat in it for like 15 seconds and then they said, Okay, it's Kelly's turn. I was like, What the hell, man? <laughs> they know how it works. They do. See? But I will say it wasn't fun. I mean, not there. This is a nice vehicle. It wasn't I was gonna say, geez. For the short trip I got to drive it, I was like, Well, that's kind of was a downer. But yeah, then but you then you go take it out west and you're like, holy shit, this thing is, is badass. This is what it's made for. He wouldn't let me get in the driver's seat. No, you were you were feeling car sick or something. Shh, you, well and Dave, or, or no, you, you weren't feeling well that day. Uh -uh. You know earlier in the show you were talking about the um you know the raptor experience, whatever that was, desert running and stuff. Mm -hmm. I would love to do that in my wild track because that's what it's made for, right? So they say um, like we get some of that opportunity to go up and do some of the trails and some of that stuff in Michigan, um, that I've done, but like to be able to go out West and do that 
flat, fast, like mm-hmm. racing, I think my, you know, little That's stock wild track would do great. Let's go, Laura. Come on. Did y'all out. race? Did y'all race at the dunes, by the way? Yes, Laura did. Yeah. yeah. I met Jess. Did you two line up together? Oh. Um, no, I feel like I saw other? Laura at the dunes and we were there at the same time, maybe during um, the takeover, but I don't know if we ever actually like met officially. We were taking the picture, I think. So maybe. Wrong, yeah. I think. So but no, I mean, Laura, Laura didn't race Jess. No. I mean, I was at the dunes three or four times last year. So like, you just go. Well, well, Come on. Deal. <laughs> you act like you have a mama that lives in Michigan or something. I do. She's 90 minutes from the dunes. We got our own dunes house. Let's go. It's awesome. <laughs> Welcome back. What up? Sally. That's why she was barking. Uh, she had to go outside. <laughs> oh. Mark, if they did a two door raptor, would you be interested? Raptor. Um yeah, raptor. I don't know. So like knowing some of the trails like uh at Windrock that we've done. Uh, the one that's in the cover photo where Jess is down in that gully. Like, I don't think the width of a raptor, we were already scraping uh, no fender flares in that. Like, yeah. so I think the added width would limit, you know, its trail ability because it's meant for the open, you know, flat yes. desert racing style of driving. Yeah. Here in Tennessee, we just don't have that really available to us. If I lived in Vegas, if I lived, you know, out in open flats, maybe it'd be interested. But, you know, like Jess said, my two door wild track does everything I want it to do. So probably not. Yeah. I mean, it's the same for us up in Kentucky too. Like, you know, we head out to land between the lakes and to Turkey Bay, um, off-road park that they have there. It's not really a park. It's just the woods. But I literally was out there in December and the guys I were with took my fender flares off because I couldn't get between the trees. Um, wow. Like, you know, and it was fun. It, I was like, I don't know what's happening, but okay. But there's <laughs> no way the ass end of a raptor would have ever made it with or without yeah. fender flares. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's true. I, I really want to do some like trails up north. Like I was looking at Michigan's ORB like routes and stuff come to find out my grandparent like near my grandparents up north there's two track trails up there that i can take the bronco and i'm really interested to see like how tight they actually get but i have the bus top flares so like mine are molded right to the bronco yeah um ali run um go to baldwin and run tin cup or little manistee those are both pretty open but still fun yeah. Um, there is, there's a lot of little ruts in them. So you get a lot of bounce, but I mean, I've tooled through those at 15 to 20 miles an hour and done the same trails at 50. So, um, it's a good yeah. time. <laughs> there's a bunch of, um, there's a group. I'm totally blanking on his name right now. Um, Ed something, uh, he's up in Atlanta and they've been running trails up in Atlanta and they keep running into elk and stuff. And I'm like, I, oh, wow. I yeah. Like they're they're I mean they're far enough away, but they just keep running into the same herd. Not that's armadillos. crazy. Ellie. Huh? Not armadillos. Ellie. Not armadillos. <laughs> I made that I one on the side of the road okay. that I was gonna stop and take a picture for you, Allie, but it was already dead. I actually hit a squirrel the other day and it went up like, <gasps> and I was like, is it like, is that what the armadillos do? <laughs> what are you, like Michael Jackson thriller over there? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Laura are so determined to find an armadillo during Supercell. Okay, just you don't hit it with your vehicle though. That's your like, sticker. That don't are, yeah, y'all need, y'all need you should have done an armadillo. Armadillo, armadillo hunt. I should have. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's still time, sticker mule. I did no. order some. I'm today. done spending money on stickers. <laughs> Man, you say that, and then they'll run an SMS deal you know, tomorrow. Sticker mules like that meme that 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 guy hanging out of the tree, like rubbing his hands together. Because I like, and I think I've said this before. I like that the sticker thing, like the trade stickers or put a sticker on somebody's way better than the stupid duck thing. Yeah. Or the people, you know, I know they're early on. People were trying to Let come me up with show their own. You my little poster I have made. Duck thing, but I think it's more fun the stickers. Like is the ducks, you just. Well, like I see so many jeeps now that don't need this ducks thing is in there. Massive. Oh wow! Nice. Awesome. Literally massive. Like I can't even get the full thing in the camera shot. Wow! <laughs> awesome. 
Like, y'all are crazy. Look, I see Mark's in there. Yeah. Mark's is easy to find. So much real <laughs> estate. <laughs> Uh, I'm doing for super cell. I need to figure something out. Isn't it cool? Yeah, Allie, we've told you this before, but M. Peugeot oh, yeah. reminding you that armadillos carry leprosy, yes. so don't touch them. No. I can only yeah, think of Sid the Sloth saying leprosy when you know, you know the ones that. that don't? You gotta lift their little <laughs> legs up and check. Oh my god, did you get the Bronco toolkit? Don't kit? touch them. Yeah. I'm so jealous. I want that so bad. I want that. Is that the Bronco kit toolkit? So Come on, Allie. Make it happen. So what is that? What is this you keep showing? <laughs> it's the Bronco toolkit. It's the Bronco oh, toolkit. Cool. From Ford Accessories. And then the little baggy. I gotta get it. The bag has Bronco on it and everything. It has and it has all the pieces, all How the tools. Do you, want this? you have to buy so it. Bad. How much is that? How much is it with points, Laura? Uh, yeah, I, don't know. I had enough saved up from the heritage. <laughs> well, that doesn't help me. I have a lot saved up too. Or you well, own a dealership, you. or your family does. Like, wait, isn't it? My dog Jared ordered it. It was like four hundred, three hundred, I think. Yeah, it's like three ninety nine. <laughs> well, well, order us one. We have lots of points. I don't think we have three hundred ninety nine thousand points. We have like 170,000 points, Kelly. It That's is, not 399,000 points. Will you hold on. It is 69,800 points. It is $349. See? Oh. 69,000 points. So, I Laura, we would like to order it. one from you. From then me. use oh, our points. Bring it Dave wants two. He needs you two. You can deliver it to us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. However that works. Do it, do it. Hey, on FordAccessories.com, you get 15% off. Yeah, but I'm trying to help the little business. Fifteen percent points. <laughs> no, you can't use the discount in the point, so it's better. Well, then no. Yeah. yeah. I don't need to spend any more money. Remember. No. That's where I'm at. As I'm so putting details on at? my Bronco. What's it called? Uh, the toolkit. Yeah. Isn't it just tool the Motley Bronco Industries toolkit? Tool 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 oh yeah, it is. The Bronco what? Toolkit. It's model number FD0001. Made in Taiwan. Shh, don't point those things out. <laughs> You're ruining a sale. <laughs> there, there's the model number. All right, can you read, let, put the model number in there? I already you know. did. <laughs> FD. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I already did that. It doesn't like me. Damn it's it, Motley Industries, Kelly. What? Who is Motley. Motley. So it's not Motley's Ford, the brand? Not yeah. on Ford's site? It is on Ford's But you I'm can get it. it from your dealership. Like, Hold on. Yeah, but Ford we don't want to buy from our dealership. Our dealership sucks. Oh, right, right. Sorry. Kelly, We're trying I'm to help the little. Man, everybody's trying to ruin you, Laura. <laughs> We're trying to make a sale for you. and well, She may not get any kickback. She's using our points through her, though. I don't know. Wait, I, so I feel like while Kelly's right looking this up, Dave, you need to ask Mark about his new two new two door. <laughs> his what? His new two door. Wait, oh yeah, his, you door? Do. his new two door. <laughs> oh yeah, there is going to be Ranger talk. <laughs> um, but I've got to bring. I've got to. Um, I've got. I'll have to. Let me do my. I'll have to get my update video up here just for real quick. But um, what's it under? I just sent it to you. Where'd you send it? Go to Facebook. Star. Go to Facebook. Man, who's the old guy here? Me or you? I don't work on your computer all the time. I don't Chat. know. You have Facebook right there in the middle. Hey, Jesus. Back in my day. <sighs> Y'all, I don't know how we still Y'all, Dave is not going to make it to Supercell. So come yeah. hang out with Here's us. Awesome. <laughs> See, it's a different skew. Yeah. All right, put it up so we're breaking It'll be a true girl weekend. <laughs> all right, Kelly found it. Good no, job. Good Allie job. shared it. Good job, Kelly. You found it. Go team. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that damn village. Okay. I like the box too. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. the box. Shut it. Do it for the box. <laughs> Whoa. It's a family channel. <laughs> really? Gosh. Oh, look, you get a little black tape too. <laughs> I haven't put mine together yet. <laughs> Wait, you gotta Wait. build it? <laughs> Some assembly required? What kind of bullshit is that? Yeah, I'm with Kelly on this one. <laughs> I pay four hundred dollars for it. Yeah, to freaking put the thing together. Jesus! Why don't you share the link in, in it's like so IKEA? Can... <laughs> hey, 
Hey, if you guys order one of these free, from free, Laura, you can I will give you a free cup and free sticker. <laughs> so if you order one of these from Laura and you bring me the proof that you ordered it from Laura, you get a free cup and sticker at Supercell. Or Laura will bring it to Supercell. Yes. Yep. If they're so uh, see, you're going to need to bring the Heritage Edition now. <laughs> Wait. What is this includes installation for twelve fucking dollars? <laughs> yeah. Does it bring the little porter? The little car porter guy comes out there and goes, "Here you go, put it in your truck." And no, he probably goes. He probably unpacks it and puts it in the right spots. That's yeah. the fun of this. Oh my what the shit? Put what it in mean? its little slots. Like, what this? do you mean? Justin and I were just talking about a four hundred dollar toolkit. And we have to put it all together ourselves. Wow. Yeah, missed the whole conversation. I know I was here. I have to use the tools myself. Like, this is a lot. Right. Like, <laughs> use them and put the whole damn thing together. Jeez. Well, see, so you can buy this thing called roadside assistance. We don't, I don't need yeah, roadside that's for assistance free. yet. Oh, my chair filled up. Wow, Dave. Wow. Oh, yeah, Laura, we have points. So just let us know what you need from us to use the points. Just, Just send remember. her your ID. Yeah. Remember. Okay, message us and we'll give and you what we need. And uh, <laughs> why did we buy three Bronco Raptors? <laughs> no. All right, done. Yeah, I, I, don't, even. I don't even. <laughs> I can cover a black Bronco Raptor too. Yeah, good luck with that. Right. It, we wouldn't get approved for that. Or if I'm telling you, if that thing was uh 72k, we would the we would you would have a rapid red one sitting in your in your showroom floor. Yeah. But uh. Not a 92k. No, that's a tough one to. And we're not telling you to bring it down to 72. He's just saying, like, if the price. Oh was no, that... she's not bringing the 72. Her dad would kill her. No, I'm just saying from a Rockies. <laughs> just so she knows yeah. we're not like pressuring, yeah. saying your price is too high. Is it's it just that its price is too? Are Maki's sales so bad? Like you buy a Raptor, get a Maki for free kind of thing. I don't have any left, so good riddance. Really? Because I have wow. like eight. I dumped them all before I could. <laughs> go away. Laura yeah. would message me and be like, the last one's gone. I have like 13 lightnings. I have a oh. bunch of Makis. But DTE was there today, turning on our power for all of our oh. trailers. Nice. nice. Are they working yet? No. No. <laughs> No, they don't have to work. Speaking of that, Mike Levine, which is funny, you follow his his socials, and he's always like posts up really cool. He's a very good photographer, but he loves to troll, really which I find hilarious because Ford signed the deal of like, hey, where we could partner and use use Tesla's charging systems. And I'm like, in one breath, he's like shitting on Tesla for everything that they could have go wrong, and then in the next breath, he's like, yes, and we get to use their chargers. And I'm like, you can't have it both ways, guy. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's the link I put in there is just really long, so oh. it, I don't think it. They just decreased the MSRP on low, didn't they? On which uh, one? Ten thousand. They did on the Mach E's because yeah. you can no longer do the tax credit, right? For the Mach E's because the Mach E's are built in Mexico and not the U.S. Mm. But we have some more electric cars coming. <laughs> Stay tuned to later this year. Yay. Uh, I do love, though, if so, who did I see? Oh, uh, Rick Hendricks from Hendricks Motorsports and NASCAR. He owns a lot of Chevrolet dealerships. He came out I last there was a quote of him. There was a quote of him saying, hey, America's not ready for this yet. They're not buying this crap, man. And then you read, read GMs like, oh, yeah, we're, we're doubling down on it now. And then Solantis, so Stellianta, whatever you say the damn name. <laughs> they uh they're doubling down on evs too and i'm like you guys both gm and you guys are going to be bankrupt again because there's no yeah. people don't want this shit man so here's the thing they're making it and like not to make it political but unfortunately like evs are so political yeah and pe that's the one thing that drives people away from them that like they won't even consider it like while i was waiting for my bronco i drove a mach e for a couple of weeks i actually started to like the car Mm -hmm. It drove nice. It had decent features in it. It was nothing special. It was our mannequin that was like a base of a base. But like from going to a truck from seven years down back to a car, like I learned to like it and like it was fine. Like I got to charge it at work. I really didn't have an issue with it. But 
it's just one of those things that they're making all the electric cars too political and nobody wants to give them a chance because of that. Well, MSNBC, they have a good YouTube channel. I don't like their news channel, but they're, they're, um, or CNBC, I'm sorry. Their YouTube channel does a lot of cool little docs and they did a, a thing this week on tires for EVs. Like it's ridiculous, like 12,000 miles on tires. Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> at the end of the day, what do you, what, what are we, we're not any more green for that. I mean, I, I know EV ultimately probably is a little cleaner vehicle, but like if you're, you're going through tires three times the speed that you would normally go through tires in a vehicle, like what the hell? It doesn't make any damn sense. Yeah. And there's really no, like, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. There's really no, um, environmentally friendly way to recycle tires. I mean, uh, really well, they, 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 rubber mulch. <laughs> yeah, they grind it. They do grind. Do it. they actually do it though? Yeah. The football fields are all made from okay. that kind of rubber mold. See, I said correct me if I'm wrong. I'm open to co uh correction. When yeah. done right, sir. It's crazy. Be <laughs> the Kelly and Allie show again here in a minute. <laughs> wow. Hey, we were doing just fine. You yeah, were. so you had to roll in. Except for the intro and the outro and You know what? Hi, Dave's Mark. not making it to Supercell, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was doing Dave's okay until you called me right weekend. before we went live, and then you stressed me out because you called me right before we were supposed to go live. And you were doing the nice thing to be like, did you get everything situated? But I was already in a mindset that I had to get it situated, so I was already stressed out. <gasps> I see somebody. Say hi, Allie. <laughs> Oh, don't play shy now. You can't wait right? to see you, Allie. At Super Bowl. <laughs> He's like, like slowly scooting around Allie. the corner. <laughs> You're supposed to be in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he came from. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but more of more and more of him is appearing every second. <laughs> like slowly. I mean, you yeah. might be careful. There might be like Bride of Chucky or whatever, a little knife in your back. Like all Stop of a sudden, it. like you're like little thing creeped up on me got me <laughs> uh all right so raptor watch guys i know this is the best part of the show um so i gotta go in i mean for your shirt. shirt i did wear i, I hey yes i did wear i knew you, i knew what you did fire man their their website is awful for this all right so it did move a little bit so the last update changed on this to 329 and that was when it went from bedliner <laughs> to to the uh the mod shop so uh past that there's really no updates unfortunately still no window sticker there though yeah which is trips me out or ally no it's supposed to be right here no window sticker yeah. and we can I get it the back door way window sticker so no but it like tells you to look when you have a moment try yeah it clearly link. says <laughs> that's the thing that's what's funny about it yeah the damn link so um but there is a new there is a new ranger in town and uh, Mark, you actually picked up the him and Segway. Jess. Him and Jess were like, "You're not going to believe what Mar what Mark's looking at." And they sent me a picture. Mark's looking at what year is this this Ranger, Mark? It is a 2000 Ford Ranger XLT. Hey, ooh, bougie. XLT fancy, bougie. so fancy. <laughs> um, With flare sides. Woohoo! Mark got his Ranger before I did. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure that was the whole point, just so he could say, I got my ranger first. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> uh, Mark, what made you choose to buy a 2000, so 23-year-old vehicle? 24-year-old vehicle. Uh, it was the right price, and it was the neighbor kid. <laughs> uh, we were I was driving to work one day. I mean, the Bronco is my daily driver. Uh, April 14th will be my two year anniversary, and I'm at almost 60,000 miles because I drive <gasps> close to 100 miles a day for work. Dang. Yeah, that's the face I get every time I look at this the mileage, Kelly. So mm -hmm. I saw it, it was very well maintained. It's 24 years old, so it's got you know a few nicks, little body damage here and there. Um, but uh, you know, and it's a uh, MF and Ford Ranger. So uh let's go. And, uh, danger Ranger, 24 years old. That's Danger Ranger territory. 
Uh, yeah. Um, the suspension's totally gone in it. So if I hit a bump, like I'm jumping and hopping for like the next half mile. Like it's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, pretty much desert running anytime we go to town. <laughs> it's a pre runner setup. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, I don't want to brag. <laughs> Those are rookies. I don't want to brag about it. It's like he's driving down back. Yeah, you drive, yeah, you drive way more than I do, brother. Like, I got it. Um, but yeah. So now you have you have a pickup and, again. Did you used to have what an F two fifty? I mean, I gave up. Yeah, I gave up my F two fifty when I got the Bronco, but my dealership gave me thirty two k for the trade in. So yeah, but do you like, fit in this really thing? Because you're so. a pretty tall dude, man. Do you fit in a Ranger? <laughs> Uh, like, like a sardine in the pan. <laughs> <laughs> so, just if I have my knee up beside the door, kind of, you know, you'll bring your leg back, just kind of right and comfortable. Yeah. My knee is above the windowsill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ranger has definitely literally. I have to. <laughs> I have to put my leg down to roll down the windows. Because it blocks me from reaching over. So it's like me riding a, a little uh, go kart is what Mark feels like riding uh, in the Ranger. Randy Shanks has yeah, retired my mean, 1990. Like, oh, sorry, 1990 Ranger with 1.6 million kilometers. Whew. A lot. Sorry, Mark, I cut you off nuts. there. My bad. No, you're good. Um, but like one of my first vehicles was like a little two door Honda Civic. So I mean, a dude my size oh, in a wow. little car like that. So. It's like all clown the clown car, car. For you, man. I was <laughs> gonna say because you, it, it's not like you know, you grow once you become an adult. You are about the same size from what about <laughs> 16, 17 or so on for the rest of your life, pretty much. Pretty much. This is an F and Ford Ranger. So what are <laughs> what are all the benefits that you found of, of owning a little truck, Mark? Uh, it's nice to have a tr truck with a, you know, a bed. Uh, I don't have trash service, so I got to haul to the dump. That's a pain in the, in the Bronco. Um, but like I'm getting over 19 miles a gallon. Uh, Whoa. You know, right. Like, so better gas mileage. Um, you know, and it's just a good little beater car. I was in it, it rolled over 170,000 miles the other day. So, you know, it's just a great little truck. And who how, doesn't like a, a little Ranger? How about a couple hundred bucks to make buttons. some changes? Uh, yeah, so I had to, um, and I found it to be an actual issue with the Ford Ranger buttons from that generation. Uh, they like literally deteriorate and almost melt. So um, I've already the changed MMs? those out. And I'm <laughs> the uh, the headlights were tobacco yellow, that nice faded old halogen bulb yellow. Um, so I changed the headlights, but everything I'm putting in, I'm just going back to stock original. Like nothing fancy. Uh, I don't no want to hear this. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear this because rumor had it. You were looking at some grills for this uh -huh. thing, and mm -hmm. they weren't normal grills. What were no. you? What were you, you were going to upgrade this a little bit? I mean, you're bringing in. Uh, power. Yeah, so just to, just to poke the bear and and get it in your face, you know. It literally took me ten seconds to find a Ford Raptor grill for this generation of Ram Ranger. Uh, you know, and I, I think I I think you said if. If I got a Raptor grill, you were going to get me the Raptor sticker package because then I could go faster. That is for, except That's horsepower every except time. Except like one of the R's might be backwards. It's going to be written like a kid did it in crayons, what we're going to do. Hey, stickers it's Dave wrote in crayons. It's a proven fact. That's right. That sticker pa That's why I got the sticker package for mine, Mark, because I knew it would be faster than the normal one. It's just not faster so to get fast. here. We're going to twin... I got shelter. Let me go get a shower. Do what, Laura? We're gonna be twins with shelter green. Oh, you got one. You did you get your VIN? Yeah, I I, I haven't been looking though because I've been worrying about my customers. But <laughs> that's what happens when you have a heritage in your garage and yeah. 
Nobody. Another Bronco. And a dark horse too. And a dark horse on the way. Ooh. But She's then gonna... I have like a lineup of every vehicle in her garage. I need a horse barn. <laughs> I was gonna say you're gonna have to you're gonna have to build a barn for them to have all your ponies in there. I'm sure hubby would mind that. I'm she sure. Keep them at the dealer. <laughs> yeah, true. Good idea. <laughs> now I'm giving her ideas. <laughs> Such a problem. So how yep, much so can we peer pressure you to bring the the Heritage Limited to Super? Yes, Sound? yes. How much? <laughs> how much? What? Peer pressure. Let's go. Fall out of your seat. You got to bring it. it. Got I it. didn't have anything to do with it. No, you got to bring it. <laughs> <laughs> but Just I don't really know. It. It's stock. Kind of boring, isn't it? Yeah, but hey, it's, you know it's a limited heritage. You have the ultimate, the ultimate cool vehicle. Oh, it's stock. It's stock. Sorry, <laughs> Laura. Maybe I'll throw the you, tent on it. And call it hey, do you realize that most of us, uh, if not all of us, on this show tonight would probably yell at you if you modified that heritage limit? Yeah. <laughs> true. True. Absolutely. <laughs> and and I have a thirteen year old downstairs that would tell you the same thing about the heritage limited. So everybody loves the stock heritage limited, especially that Robin's egg blue. <laughs> same. Me too. Me too. All right. So she, okay. It's official. She's bringing the heritage limited. Yep. Pretty good. How many miles does that thing have on it now? Or none. 200. <laughs> what? Like 10, 15. What? Are you serious? Yeah. I'm okay, trying don't bring to drive it. it and I don't want to because I'm trying to keep it nice. <laughs> okay, maybe you do need to leave it well, at home. Well, what you need to do is go get it PPF'd and then drive it. That's true. True. Protect know, that paint. Now I'm nervous. Or, ordinary know. paint is a little iffy. True. Um, do you know I learned when I was in Michigan? Don't ask how I learned this, but they do not use. Uh, uh, primer anymore when they paint vehicles there is when they when they electrostatic dip them it they bake that and that is the primer so they don't spray the vehicles for primer anymore it's pretty it was pretty cool all in one yeah. mark's about to fall asleep over there he's gotta nah, be up I'm early good. a long work day <laughs> I swear to God, he was asleep. No, it's his internet connection. I know. God, Justin dude. Zimmerman says, "Laura, if you bring the other one, I can get that camera relocation installed for you." Oh, how do you know? Yes, I need. He's with Mountain Metal. Yeah, because <laughs> we we bought it last year. We haven't done anything with it. So, oh my God, you can. You could just bring there. both. Just trailer the blue one. How yeah, about just that? trailer yeah. the heritage. And, yeah, yeah, it would be easy. Fun. Ooh, that's an idea. You could just put the kids in the heritage while they're trailering no, down the road, you just, right? You just <laughs> so, somehow y'all have an F F one fifty or two fifty that you know that needs to be tried out for the weekend. No. The I don't have any other F one fifty. No, I don't think you want to do that with the Raptor. <laughs> oh, I really need to get some mountain metal stuff. I'm sure we could make. Don't that we happen. all? Just bring cash because in Tennessee they yes. charge extra for. Yeah. Oh, do they? Was everybody charging more for a credit? Or a lot of them are passing on. I don't know if Mountain Metal is, but a lot of a lot of vendors now are passing along the the fee. Oh, don't worry. So is our dealership. Oof. Yeah, I heard that on one of the things too that somebody was complaining about not being able to put more than three thousand dollars down to purchase their vehicle because they wouldn't let them. Really? Yeah, they wouldn't let them do it because of the three percent. Yeah, we'll we'll it let costs. people. I can't remember what um what like our charge is, but our charge to the P to customers now is two point seven five, but we're paying like six percent on all the. Well, I guess, I guess my Bitcoin that uh, I'm going to use as a down payment, or after put that no. in the bank, or figure out how to put it in the bank, and pay with it from the bank. No, I just cash it out. <laughs> That's you just put it in a check. Looks at the bar move. You're like, ooh, stuff is happening. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. My Bitcoin today, it, it dropped ten thousand dollars really quickly. Not so. our ten thousand dollars. Don't worry about that. We don't have that much in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't. What? 
Because my dog is full on snoring in the hallway right now. <laughs> Mark is too. She's <laughs> I like how you closed it so I couldn't no, see how much we have in there. That's so funny. I just want to well, go to I was gonna Super talk. Show. I was going to talk some off-road vehicles, but uh, this just became too much of a a, a chatty session here. Wait, I'm wheeling on Saturday if we want to talk about off-road. Where are you going wheeling? Um, out in the Daniel Boone backcountry byway in Slade, Kentucky. No, are you going to get a picture on that rock that everybody seems to take a picture on? No, I got stuck on it the last time I was out there. We're not doing that. Oh. <laughs> I had to get winched off. <laughs> How'd so that happen? Um, I high-sided on the center. Oops. And I just, Oops. I was just over passenger a little too far. And she doesn't have any white knuckle rock sliders. Oh, there's that. Well, uh, I mean, there? that wouldn't have really helped. But anyway, um, I did not. But I mean, the, Mark, Mark knows how to install them now. <laughs> no, Mark's like, we're, not, we're not going to talk about it. No. Uh, I, heard you, I heard your hell with a, a flashlight, Jess. I'm like a flashlight pro. I don't even understand. <laughs> Is anyone going that wasn't to even for the sliders. I was trying yeah. to put the stupid bumpers back on. For the record, we were out there till like nine o'clock last night with flashlights, <laughs> making it happen. Re remounting a rear bumper. <laughs> You're better than us because literally Dave comes in and says, well, I can drop an F-bomb now. I think we're further in. He goes, fuck it. We're done. And I said, <laughs> we don't need to quit just because we need to quit. He's like, I'm quitting. We're never going to get this done. Like take it off. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to take right. our, our front bumper off to get it re there's like, six, there's like six people saying Tim is on the way. <laughs> I see that. I see that. <laughs> is he coming in the stream or is he, he coming people? in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> um uh Sarah, we did we did uh actually stream y'all at the beginning of the show. We did. We did. We put your show on first. Yeah, we we streamed your opening at our opening. We were just watching y'all. Yeah. Nothing creepy about that. Going live without me? <laughs> <laughs> no, we went live with you. Because yeah, you, you, you were live. <laughs> went live on us. You literally have to rewind this to the beginning and y'all get the joke. <laughs> Um, that's and I promise we don't keep we keep we don't keep meaning to do it on Tuesdays, yes. but it's it's softball season, and so if we don't get to do it on Mondays, we typically push it. To we Tuesday. might we might be able to do it on a Sunday night. I don't know. I have to ask the peeps. 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 Uh, you should probably close the close the the poll oh. so we don't forget to close the poll. All right. So go ahead and, and vote if you want to. Um, Wow. Will this be your first supercell? Yes. And um well, we'll go ahead and close it. I was gonna say you might as well just so let's, let's shut see. her down. Let's see what it is, Kelly. So 39 votes, 61% said sadly not this year, 20% said I go every year, and yep, said 17%. Well, so if that answers your sticker question, yep, you need 17% more stickers. <laughs> <laughs> no, 17% of 39 is not 17% more stickers of 100. Oh, we're going to need a sticker spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I wasn't already running one in my brain. Know. <laughs> Dude, no, there are, there are people though. with sticker like spreadsheets of like who they sent them to, like who, like it's wild. Like people are crazy. It was funny. Oh. I was talking to one of our techs because he just went to off rodeo Moab. And he's like, because I was going to have him pick up like some Bronco swag from Moab and just pay him when he got back. And I forgot to even look on the website to like what they had. And he's like, well, the trail games gave us a shitload of stickers. So I just got you stickers. I'm like, who would have thought a bunch of adults go crazy over just free stickers? And he's like, well, when we're kids, we got stickers every time we did something good. So we were taught from a young age to be obsessed with these things. That's it. It was so funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> Rob says he has a spreadsheet. <laughs> I have a spreadsheet too, but it's really just for me to keep track if I sent our member stickers <laughs> on Patreon. Oh, so you know what, what was the deal they need to do if they or so if you sign up for membership on YouTube? Yeah, so if you sign up for membership on YouTube, go to the community section of YouTube and make sure that you fill out 
the um, Google Sheet. So that way it has, we have your address and stuff in there. If you've already done it, you don't have to do it again. It's really just a reminder for those that haven't done it yet. <clears throat> it helps us if we send some <laughs> Sarah. some swag out. Uh, Sarah, I sent a link to your dad. So you can join in too. Um, or if, or here's the thing. We usually invite your dad and then he comes on and he's super tired because he's prepping for something. So if he is in that situation where he's tapped out, don't make him. He doesn't have to come on. We'd love to have him though. Tim got a trailer. Did he? Yeah. He got it finalized? Uh, yeah, he had the hitch put on. Um, nice. I know last week he was talking about getting it put on. Mm -hmm. Nice. Killing it. Um, so they're camping. Laura, did you say you were trying to put a rooftop tent on your heritage if you had to come down? No, I would just throw the tent on it. Yeah. From the one I have already. There you are. <laughs> yeah. you we got a two for here. <laughs> Welcome. Sarah's finally made it to the show. She has. <laughs> we have to do We've seen you in person. Tonight. We just haven't had you on the show yet. Yeah. Well, how did your show go tonight, Tim? Uh oh. oh off your audio. Hold on a second. Oh. Check, 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 check. Yeah, Wendy's, uh, Wendy's can get pretty busy with two kiddos. I'm sure. No, I'm sure. One second. It wouldn't second. be show if we didn't have audio issues. Yeah, right. For well, real. That's, I think it's you. No. Oh. We're getting doubled up audio here. There we go. <laughs> oh. There we go. There you go. Check, check. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Tim, you, go. got, you got your trailer? Something's delayed. Oh, I know why. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I had, had the I still had the YouTube video going. It was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get the camper this weekend. Nice. Looking forward nice. to it. I've seen you got you got your hitch and everything hooked up. That uh, not yeah. much of an ordeal, but that gets you just one step closer. And you went with the trailer brake as well. Yeah. So I um. So they had told me it came with the trailer brake, and so the um like in our aftermarket's like yeah we get the trailer brake controller because we actually did a video on a bronco that had that put on it and i'd forgotten like six months ago i did a video on it mm -hmm. and i'm like wait a minute that would be kind of cool so i have it to where it's i think it's you can set an automatic to where when you break it breaks the trailer that kind of thing mm -hmm. where you can override it so nice. and it's right there on the console so i just i just had them do it for me <laughs> i don't blame <laughs> that you that was above my install expertise at that point I uh, I think I think we figured out I've installed uh, 20 different things myself, nice. <laughs> but I have like over 25 mods. So, <laughs> hey, that's, that's I, I get the I, I'm over the requirement. <laughs> hey, I'm having somebody put my lift on next week, so yeah. I, I can't oh. say anything. Oh yeah, it's true. I yeah, oh, no. the lift I had somebody yeah, else no. do for me. Actually, somebody else uh, switched out the bumper. Um, you know, I can play. do most things I put yeah. my mind to, but most of the time, other people are like, no, I got this. And so I just stand there holding a drink like, okay, go at it. <laughs> we Absolutely. Just, we ran out of time for ours. I'm surprised, actually, we can get the wiring, actually. I've been pretty good with the wiring, <laughs> the lights. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm using three switches now on auxiliary switches. <laughs> Woo -hoo. We we can't use any of ours yet. None of ours are, hug are plugged into anything. No, nope, not right mm. now. They will. Yeah. I... Uh, so. so Tim, are you excited for Supercell? I am. I am. I kind of actually, I, I try to get excited about it, but Sarah's not going. So <laughs> I feel bad to like get Aww. excited about it. Sarah, I wish you were <laughs> Just coming. Sitting there going, well, you know, this is a, a family run like business here. And yeah. so like I'm gone for like three or four days. So it's kind of hard to, to ask uh, the uh, son who's uh, 21, 20, 22 now to ask him to picture and go ahead and do this and do this and do this. And it's yeah. not even enough to have one person even keep up on pictures while we're gone. Yeah. So, so we try and keep at least two of us here, either me and brother, me and Tim, you know, him and brother, we try and keep at least two of us here in the team that can kind of yeah. kind of help take on other tasks. Yeah. We're trying Although to always talk to you in Chicago. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we, <laughs> we've, we've made it work, but it's a, uh, that was the craziest week. Uh, yeah. They left for two days. Like he was gone for two days the week before and they, we had nothing. We had zero cars that week. To then, picture, yeah. yeah. To picture. We had no cars to picture the next week, him and brother both leave and I'm here picturing by myself and I get stacked up by 20. Yeah. Oh, we, no. <laughs> we normally picture about 10 to 12 a day and, 
Yeah. Yeah. She got like 20 one day. <laughs> like, I they knew she was going one day. I got 20 one day and then I got like 10 the next day. So I Oh got, my like, gosh. I That's got crazy. Up, like this this yeah. can't happen. I'd love to just do video content and go places but and uh -huh. even here but <laughs> we got other things to do here. Ellie knows all that is. anymore. <laughs> You guys are Ellie and Laura normal. probably know. Laura probably has a lot of hats at her place. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yes. That's why I can only look at a few. <laughs> well, Tim, you're about to start traveling because what you got to go to Florida, if I remember right, soon. Or? Um, no, they're um, they wanted to do it, but they're gonna do it la last weekend. And I said, I can't be gone for Easter, oh, yeah. <laughs> we can't be gone for Easter, so we didn't go. Yeah, but so. I think we're planning something in Maine in June. Nice. Yeah, we're, we're doing uh, Bronco or off rodeo and nice. dealer, uh, the dealer one for, and uh, we're going to New Hampshire. So now I'll be to all of them after that. Nice. Sarah hasn't been, so she's going, we're doing a yeah. special deal. Um, just going to say thanks and everything. So we're going to go up and again, a quick visit. We're going to fly up the day before, go to off rodeo and fly back the next day. So, well, that's nice. what celebrities do. They're just in and out. right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, New Hampshire is is one I really would like to go see because I, I wanted I, to do I, the dealer stuff again so bad, but I had just gotten back from Texas when I got that, and I'm like, I'm not gonna get away with this. <laughs> right. I actually I'm yeah. paying for it, so I have flight miles, so I'm I'm flying there. We're using my flight miles, but um, I said, hey, if I pay my own way, and Sarah's can can we go? Because <laughs> yeah. we already already did one on their dime, so I'm like, oh, can I yeah. go if I pay for it? So. Right. 195 for the two of us so yeah. oh that's not bad no it's so, like 95 dollars a person yeah okay but. we i will say though for dealer stuff it's only like three to four hours yep. like, yeah yeah like three it's hours not very right. short for everyone who doesn't know yeah. but like what the they do is they can really condense it down have you guys been to one yes mm -hmm. they really condense it down to just <clears> like <throat> okay here's here's a break they teach you some breakover and departure angles and then they're like we'll tell you the rest on the trail <laughs> and then uh -huh. they, yeah. on the walkies they're telling Which you everything it's <laughs> the best way i learned i learned on the trail with melissa and brian in colorado and that, I feel that's the best way for me to And learn. that is literally like two of the best teachers you could ever have. Yeah. 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 He's like, well, you've already met Melissa and Brian. They've taught you. You probably already know everything they're going to teach you at Bronco Off Rodeo. So, you know, you could do with a dealer day and be fine. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. When we went to Rafter Off Rodeo for the, um, yeah. For the press day, that was how it was too. For it was a, it was yeah. a very condensed and mm -hmm. and for us, we felt like because they wanted us to create a whole bunch of content on it, and we're like, I feel like we need a full day in order to create a bunch of content on it because I yeah. feel like because especially with Raptor Off Rodeo, it was what an hour to get out to oh, the yeah, spot to and Valley, an hour yeah. to come back. So you <laughs> literally you were there mm -hmm. for about an hour, and that was it. Yeah, like you were there for like an hour, hour and a half, maybe between two different obstacles yeah. essentially um yeah. taking your turns on it so definitely it's very condensed it's a great experience but it's very condensed yeah, like for the, sure the raptor off rodeo when they have an off-road course or the rock crawling course we didn't get to do mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> yeah well tim any any big news that you guys talked about tonight that people should go watch we had uh, we had some fun with uh, we got ranty. Uh, yeah, we got ranty a little bit. So <laughs> we, we we talked about Ford and how they're trying to cut costs on things. And Laura could probably tell you this, and even Allie too, that we kind of had some had a little fun. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble with, uh, with Ford. Um, <laughs> on two so, channels now. Because yeah, because we talk, yeah now we're going to talk about it on this one. Um, so we we kind of talked about how they're cutting costs. Well, you know now they're not doing the door code, the little card for the F one fifties. They don't you know come anymore. Oh, they, they okay. with it. Hold on. We had such a rant today of the managers freaking out because like we didn't realize that. And like the managers got their new demos because we had to retire the 23 F-150s. And so they got 24. And the hoops we had to jump through to fi start figuring out how to pull this freaking door code. There was yelling. There was chaos. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. It was oh. hilarious. Oh, I'm doing a video this week on it. It's not that hard. Well, they're PDI no, guys. Not, now that. that we know what to do. Yeah. And I looked, you know where I looked? I looked in the owner's manual, the, uh, the digital owner's <laughs> manual. I went in there and searched for it. That's how I figured out how to do it. <laughs> the 
one place none of us looked at first. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, well, well, I knew that our PDI manager, he's pulling them on all of our vehicles anyway and writing them on the on the, the envelope, yeah. but um and putting them in the vehicles. Mm -hmm. But um I was like, well, yeah. it's gotta be in here. So we did it. We actually did it for the image for the thumbnail. Um, but then also we talked about the fuel. Mm -hmm. So you guys, how are, how are, how much gas are you guys getting with your vehicles when they show up? Negative. So <laughs> we showed, uh, I showed an image where we have a vehicle with 2.9 miles on the odometer, zero miles to empty. <gasps> and on that, I pulled the invoice because a lot of people don't know this. But, but here's the thing. They charge the dealers for gas. Yeah. Yes. I've yes. Seen that. I pulled an invoice on that vehicle. They charge us $106 for gas on the invoice. <gasps> mm-hmm. And that doesn't get put over to the customer. The dealer pays for it, and they had they had two they had three miles. Three miles <laughs> worth of gas. I mean, are you kidding me? So yeah, that's where I might get in trouble for. Because <laughs> I, oh, really, no. I, I was really insane. Because like our edges, our Broncos, our F one fifties, everything being held at these holding lots are getting driven around, and they get put on a truck empty, and mm -hmm. then we're supposed to gas them as soon as they get here. And it's like when we're pulling up cars for our customers to test drive. Nothing has gas in it. Yep. It's yep. insane. Yeah, yeah we're seeing driving it the Bronco Raptor. <laughs> we're seeing it when they pull in the picture. It's yep. like we're we're like we don't want because we usually will run the vehicle to do all of our interior shots so the screens are lit up and everything and yeah. then we're afraid it's going to run out of gas on us so we're like yeah. we're like picturing it in two minutes and getting it done so we can yeah. get it back out of the building <laughs> yeah. there you go now it's your problem i'm over here like right? i've gassed enough vehicles i've dealt with this enough i'm going to turn this off while i do some of these interior shots and turn it back on just put on accessory yeah. <laughs> something but yeah oh gosh that's yeah. crazy hey, but yeah we talked about that What's Have y'all seen a rash of uh, rust on your vehicles here lately? Because the the Ranger Raptor guys are freaking out over the. Yeah, we, we heard to, about that. Yeah, we the drive about shaft, it. everything having. I mean, the drive that's common, and it's been common for a while that Ford's not coating the drive shafts anymore because it's just surface rust. It, it doesn't really affect anything, yeah. but they are yeah. freaking out about these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and they well, they sat right for a while. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. These? yeah. I well, and know. then I know like on Bronco Sport, maybe a year ago, I had someone asking about rust on brakes. That's mm -hmm. typical. That they could see through yeah. there. And I'm like, yeah. It's just surface. And, and she's like, well, that's bad, isn't it? I'm like, drive it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Drive it, the brake, brake a few times, you're never going to see it again. Yeah. Yep. It's yeah. just been, it's been sitting on that lot for, you know, probably that a month or, or more. So the biggest one that some people complain about are the Ford wheel locks. Mm. Like they will rust pretty quick and mm. you just got to spray them off. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Anyway. If you're yeah. worried and about you guys it, got a ranger in the rust finally, right? and undercoat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tim, I think you guys got a ranger in finally. Yeah. You can see it right where I'm at. Nice. Oh, what? See the tailgate. It's an <laughs> XLT two wheel drive though. Yeah. Was it so, a customer order or just dealer order? It was, and the customer didn't take it. So really, yeah, don't you love know. when they don't take the two wheel drive ones? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what we call that order, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. There were some other circumstances. Apparently, he had canceled, and then we didn't cancel the order. Uh, oh yeah, um, so he had said he couldn't, but I think at that point it already been scheduled. So that's the hard part is when. You're like, oh no, I, I I need to get something, and you know these took a long time, mm -hmm. so then it's already been scheduled, and you can't stop it at that point. But, yeah, I yeah. mean that's that's we have so many Mavericks that way. Yeah, that that's I mean it, they're yeah, legitimate orders, but they got scheduled like three months ago, you know, and then they finally show up, and it's like these people waited a year already, and they moved on, you know, mm -hmm. like. So Tim, I was gonna message you separately. Did you guys talk about the Bronco Sport pricing? That they lowered. That was yeah. another thing we talked about. We ran it about, about, you know, it used to be when they needed to move inventory on, you know, Ford, they wanted dealers to move inventory. They'd get given rebates mm -hmm. and that's what they'd use. But now, because there's so many of them being dealer cash, dealers aren't lowering their prices, but they're just using that as extra profit for them. And so now Ford's going to manage the prices themselves. <laughs> oh, right. Wow. So they're going to yeah. just say, nope, we're going to lower the prices and we're going to justify it. If Bronco sports aren't selling, then we're going to lower the price. So I, I could see Bronco prices coming down in the future. I hope better. So. I hope so. Yeah. I love that. I have one dealer traded though, Tim. And where was that going to show up? I was going to ask you that today. The what? 
the one we had dealer traded Bronco Sport. It's the um, they off. said they're re-invoicing them all today, and new yeah. Maronis will come this week. Okay, I think. I think that's yeah. the memo said. I threw that one away. <laughs> yeah, and if if you have one that's not re-invoiced, you just contact your rep, and they'll help you. Yeah. So yeah, that's what it says. It says while most new uh, labels are um, oh, wait. Including uh, do you, including units in stock will be reinvoiced to the new uh, price level and new Maroni labels will be shipped. Now on that dealer trade, you paid them probably for it, huh? All right. At that, so I feel like I'm screwed. That old price. Yeah. Did you get all that, Mark? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, Mark's about to fall asleep. Poor dealer's not live. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> dealer talk. Didn't mean to jump in here, but he invited me. So no, <laughs> no, 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 no. no you that's right. I'm a talkative um, guy. <laughs> did you watch? So Tim, y'all, y'all have all your stickers and everything for Supercell because Allie's got this the sticker exchange. I'm afraid Allie's making me a little paranoid that I won't have enough. I don't well, think those, I have those, enough. Those, I ordered more. more. Whoa, you got a lot. I have a hundred of each. Tim, stickers. I just ordered more tonight. Oh, dang! Oh, I have. Goodness. You guys are crazy. There's my like, camera. Gotta remember which one. So here's my special <laughs> supercell ones oh, nice. that my son put together for me. Nice. Nice. So they actually say super designer. Our graphic designer. They say supercell Tennessee. We'll be making these for Colorado too. So you can collect them. There you go. Those look nice. I get one. Yeah, should one of my lightning. <laughs> have to make the Maybe. background. I do have a few of my old ones that are like four by four, <laughs> four by four inch ones. I guess we're on camera again. Oh, yeah, those are big. I, yeah. I actually ordered some Raptor ones today for about that size. Yeah. Yeah. This is the old, uh, this is before the modification. So I keep having to redo them because I keep adding stuff to my Bronco. <laughs> I, I don't think the illustration guy doesn't mind. I don't think he might. No. <laughs> no, 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 he doesn't. But he didn't, uh, what, he cut you a, a half cost or something if you change it, update uh, it. Now yeah. I feel, hold on. I want to, I always forget how to do this. I want to pull out my sticker for Supercell. So anyway, so we got, I don't know. I have, so it's first come first serve basically. <laughs> and so we'll see. I mean, we're going to be there Saturday, the, the, that, so we'll see. So, and then I actually, um, we're going to order some merch today, some Ford video guy merch. So yes. I'm going to be, nice. I'm going to be donning all the Ford video guy Wait, stuff. Did it work? So that looks cool. Oh, I like I that. That's cute. I get one, cute. Ellie. Oh, of course. I'll send it home with your dad. Yeah. I like that. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Anyway. Oh, it's because Dave did it. I'm like, how did I do that? Yeah, Dave did it. <laughs> Dave's got oh, some control issues, Allie, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no. Oh, so, right. Tim, they were asking in here if somebody had 100 stickers or something was thinking, was that enough stickers to give away? And I was like, a I lot hope. of money if you think about it. <laughs> that better I, be may, I may have to say one per customer. Which one do you want? <laughs> right? Like, yeah. yeah. Free, no, that, that's but one per customer. How, how many do different it? ones do you have, Allie? Do you have I don't know. I didn't give away that many last year, I have though. Four different ones. I better yeah, but Allie had to put on the sticker swap <laughs> thing, so now there's going to be like eight thousand <laughs> stickers exchanging. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think Hopefully. it was going to be that popular. <laughs> well, hopefully it's a good well, we've introduced it to the Maverick community, and they've blown up with yeah, it. Yeah, we're They're getting it. Yeah, we're getting Maverick ones. People are doing oh, Maverick. Yeah. There's a whole bunch cool. like, We didn't warn, warn them about the sizing, though. Yeah, they. Uh, we didn't warn them about the sizing, so they're kind of small. Because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, it's they are a small truck, truck after all. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a micro truck. That's they're, so fun. They are small trucks, so. Yeah. And, and yeah. you know, and, and they're on a budget, typically. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's like a thumb. I'm going to get canceled. I'm keeping my mouth shut. Yeah. Anyway. Jess, how many stickers are you bringing? Um, I do have stickers. I do have two different stickers. Um, wow, I fancy. think I have 200, 100 of each, maybe 100. I don't know. Whatever. Mm. When I run out, I run out. Like I said, it's like Halloween candy. I don't know. <laughs> I know how much these cost me, so I might have to. I, don't, I may just have to go with what I have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Mark, I only bought mine with stickers? discounts because I'm cheap. Same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, every I time, I every didn't. time there's I, a I, on, I just ordered some more. So. <laughs> sticker. Like, uh, let's sticker. see what Sticker Meal comes out with hey, tomorrow. Sticker Meal, if you would like to sponsor our show, by the way. I know. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it. We send plenty. We're sending way, people over. Wait, we're talking about Sticker Meal. Can I like give a tiny shout out to them? Because you sure can. 
I sent them, I have a logo that a friend of mine created. He's a graphic designer. It's awesome. And I sent it to Sticker Mule and asked if they could do a couple of different things with it. And they said, no, we have to fix it here and here. And I'm like, okay, well do this and do that. They turned around and like immediately adjusted my graphic for me. And it was uh -huh. like a minor image that needed to be fixed, printed everything I needed to get done and like sent me my order in three days or something. Yeah. So, I, I will say like their team happy. is fantastic. Whoever's editing them mm -hmm. and just getting them Can you see like that? to you, it takes like four days. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's, Great. That's why I'm like, that's why I ordered them today. I'm like, that's it. Like, this is the line. Like, I cannot order anything else before Super Style. Yeah. Well, and honestly, I ordered um a couple like transfer stickers, like vinyl decals from them. And I ordered two of one of the designs and I only got one. So I emailed them. I'm like, hey, I only got one of these. I think they emailed me within 15 minutes with like a new order number and that my order was shipping like four hours later. And they're oh, like, wow. oh, sorry about that. We'll send it out. And I was like, that's Phew. awesome. And, and for the, you know, the price and the turnaround, like the customer service is kind of spot on. So yeah, yeah we got ours in a week. Yeah. 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 Pretty quick. Although yeah, like we say... ordered a key, we ordered a keychain or something from them one time oh, and we please, got it. Please. These are the ones that if you guys have been around for a while, we were kind of like, eh, we can't sell these. We'll just give them to you because they're not as like good as what we expected. He emailed them and told them. And I think they like gave you a credit on the yeah. account or a yeah. refund or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like, they take care of you. But we've done the Broncos and the the other ones, and these have all been held up well. Yeah. But maybe yeah. you'll have to get a you'll have to get a Mustang from me. <laughs> Women, I, I got one. I you sent me oh, one. Oh, that's right. I did send I did send those out. I don't, Actually, I don't have a Bronco. I don't have a Maverick. I don't have any of that. But I do have an 01 Lightning. So I was like, I have. I'll I'll make an 01 Lightning. So I have stickers coming I've up. Got my... Kind of stickers nice. to put everywhere. Yeah. See, there you go. There's yours right there. I got all these. I'm gonna put all mine on a cool on a cooler. I think. But did you die? That was funny. We got that one. We got the but did you die? And we got what was the other one? Something about caffeine. We got merch with but did you die? Yeah, we did. Um, yeah, we did. Um, on our merch, I I was like, okay, I want something on like sweatshirts and stuff on the back, like hoodies with mm -hmm. on the front and then on the back my bronco but i'm like i need to say something so we came up with three uh, phrases yeah but did you die was one of them we put on there because somebody sent me that same sticker and then i did one and then what was the other one um, uh, i can't work today i have bronchitis yeah I have bronchitis. that's awesome <laughs> nice so that's probably the one i'm gonna order that's my favorite oh, wait we have to share the one comment with tim hold on uh oh yeah oh it's very very top i hopped yeah, out of the comments got it <laughs> Super cellitis. <laughs> cellitis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. And Steve, yep. he's driving from Phoenix there. Yes. Okay. Wow. And I think he's pulling it. Is he still pulling on trailer too? But that I don't know. He yeah. talked about it. I think he said he was. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to decide now after Bronco Nation <laughs> posted what they're going to do. Actually, I haven't seen um, Bronco Nation. Thanks to Allie for posting it. <laughs> I saw it, um, but I'm like, I don't know, because I know I want to go over the Bays off road. That was really fun last time, but I was yeah. thinking I might spend more time there. I am there. surprised there's no Windrock this year. Yeah, what well, that's, so Windrock, the jamboree is going on, the the and yeah. there's going to be. I know there was Send It crew going out that way, and they uh, have no idea what they're cares? about to get into because because <laughs> there. I mean, there's going to be UTVs all over that place this year, and they will run into your cars like they don't and the shindig is one of their two major events a year that yes. they put on they have a, yeah. a kind of a sea level country artist will be there and uh, I mean, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good time but it's going to be busy and then tim the biggest car show of the year for gatlin or pigeon Forge is in town mm -hmm. the same the weekend as yeah. hot rod something yeah. or yeah. rod something the rod say, run. i didn't rod go run. i didn't go over there last year because we camped at, at townsend so we pretty much stayed in Townsend for the most part. Oh yeah, yeah. And we only went over there dinner for dinner, I think. Wait, when thir Wednesday, Thursday, what? Thursday, Thursday night. I'm gonna crash party. What the company? Yeah. Oh, the company. Yeah. I'm a member. Yeah. Company's Thursday. Right. email you back. <laughs> nope. We're just gonna show up. Good. I'm We're gonna, gonna show up with chair. chairs. I'm gonna Facetime. Yeah. You bring a chair. Okay. Allie's Do it, Laura. <laughs> Do it. We need one of them robots. Let me just double check my email. Make sure they didn't email me back. I missed it. Check your spam. Should you just call them? I don't like to call people. It's because we have to talk to people all day. Yeah. I'm the same way, Kelly. <laughs> After five, I'm not talking to anybody. 
It's up to you guys. Um, I don't even want to talk to people dirt before five. Well, I, facts. here's but the thing. I worked to. in telecommunications for so long and I was strapped to a phone for so long that like the last thing I want to do, I love, I love y'all, but the last thing I want to do is be on a phone all the time. Yeah. But live streams. Live streams challenge me sometimes. Okay. There are some days that I'm, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Again, I, love y'all. I'm right there with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel you. Well, um, I, so you want to do some rides? You said, Tim. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure what I want, we're going to do, but definitely want to go to Bay's. Like last time they did around it and then they said, hey, if you want to spend any more time, you paid for the day. Mm -hmm. Nobody really, you know, kind of mentioned they were going to sit, uh, stick around. And I thought this year I might do the, a morning one and then stick around yeah. and do some more in the afternoon, you know, and just take a back lunch. So, yep. Yeah. yep. Diabetic cat. Uh, oh, awesome. Well, Tom said something last week, Allie, something about they were going to do an off road. They were doing something off. I don't know if it was Bronco Nation or. Yeah, Bronco Nation is hosting two of them. At Bays, yeah, which was pretty nice. Um, I know Ali. Yeah, year. it was. It was pretty fun. So, Laura, did you go to that one? Who else went to that yeah. one? I went to the one with Bronco Nation behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And so Anthony, doing... uh, hit us up on Instagram, and we'll send you one out. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah, Anthony, you get it. Totally get yeah, it. Don't so you? Bronco mm -hmm. Nation is doing Bay's Off Road Park one to five on Thursday, and then on Friday from nine a.m. to one thirty. Yeah. So I don't know. Because we so won't be getting this. in until late Wednesday night. Oh, wait. They're doing it Saturday, oh. too, from 830 to 1. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, I could make but Yeah, I think sticker swap if you do that. I was going to say, I think that's what Tom <laughs> was talking about when he was on saying, hey, he may need to recommend that they don't go far because of all the craziness that's coming into town for Hot Rod yeah. Week or... Yeah, he was sketchy on anything happening on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. When even yeah. Friday and Saturday is going to be that much more busy at Supercell. Mm -hmm. Oh, 100%. So, right. Yeah. Even yeah. on the the peaceful side of the, the Smokies. Side of the Smokies. <laughs> I still have to find a place. I want to, on Friday, I think I'm doing Tale of the Dragon. That's a heck of a drive from there. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I did it last year. Yeah. Oh, okay. You have fun with that. That's right. We I didn't do it. Photo. Well, yeah, I know, I but we didn't do it when we went to Winrock with Jess and Mark because it was probably an hour and a half yeah. from Winrock, two hours maybe. And we were like, no, nope, we're too tired. It wasn't two hours from Winrock. Oh. Winrock's another 45 minutes from yeah. Super Cell. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Tim, 14 days. 14 days till uh, the event. Yeah. I'm uh I'm I'm pretty pumped about it. I think uh Way Tom Way Tom made it out last week. Is they're gonna have a lot more vendors there? Uh, of course, the event areas changed some, so there's more restrooms. And those will be open. I to have seventy <laughs> restrooms. <That's Oops>. crazy. <laughs> seventy real so, real bathrooms. Did he say last week on your guys's that it, they build a like a mm -hmm. big facility right there yeah. where the Bronco Nation area was or somewhere around? Allie, there? do you still have that picture? That That's pretty cool somebody shared with you yeah hold on i gotta find it dog's being silly how do i share this from my phone um send it to facebook and i'll get it yeah send it to facebook we'll grab it okay hold please <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> well i gotta say i'm really looking forward to this year Let, last year we went but you know not a lot of people came up to us that we'd maybe had connected with a little, but I've connected with a lot more people now on Instagram. So I'm really looking forward to it. And now Barb's going off road so I can uh, be the camera guy. I, nice. That's, I, I have a lot of fun doing the camera work, let Kelly drive and have fun. And I'm, I'm having yeah. fun. I know, I mean, I'm I'll, I'll hop out more I'm... often and get up the trail a little bit and get her coming through with the Bronco and get some more footage. Cause I like getting footage more from the outside. I think I'm like, going to have to suck it up and let my mom drive my Bronco more so I can get more footage. So well, this Barb, is the... Barb wouldn't come over and drive your Bronco, but she'll drive mine if you want to. <laughs> <show> <laughs> <with her. laughs> 
I remember Tim, I met you at Wisconsin yeah. Supercell. I was like, hi, Tim. You don't know me, but I know you. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. Uh, we didn't catch up at Tennessee last year. I know. We even went off roading together. Yeah, <laughs> I was there, but it was also. There was a lot of people there. <laughs> oh, that sounds so here, familiar, Kelly. Here's the new uh, pavilion. Ah. That they oh. built. That is at the word the Bronco Nation. But there's lights. 70 <clears throat> bathrooms. The biggest <laughs> thing is they've got lights out there now. It's almost yes. almost like Carlisle. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where Bronco Nation's gonna be at. I wonder. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming this is from the main like Townsend Road looking yeah, this is that, looking yeah, that grass is. area. So this yeah. is where they were coming in and you would leave and go out. Did they pave the whole thing in there, like the different gravel roads, or just that front? No, Tom said it was going to be a. There was not grass everywhere yet, but I I can't tell. I know it's gravel, or it was last year. Yeah, but right. She's saying this looks kind of paved. Yeah, kind of yeah. does. Hmm. I mean, look, there's asphalt there on the left hand side, but there's a mailbox too. But that's so, the thing. I don't. Yeah, I don't know where this was taken from. Like, I don't know if the like welcome center is even there anymore. I would hope so. That was a pretty new building. Yeah. So I, I bet it's in front of it's in front of all that. Um, but no, like like the lights, all that. So that means there might be some electrical stubs out there for people that might need electric, which would be nice for vendors if that is true. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I'm I'm very pumped, man. I can't I can't wait. Um I almost feel like this is looking from the back of the um the uh, welcome center. Well, maybe from yeah, yeah, that could be. That's what I'm saying. Like the back porch of the welcome center, essentially. That's why I want to bring the limited the heritage limited for the tail of the dragon. Oh, that'd be so cool. See? See? Tim, she has a she has a, a limited and she's got 10 miles on she's it. She's got 10 miles on it. Around there. I don't know. Uh, and she's had it. You for can a look minute. at your Ford app. Is it peak blue? Just it's no. Robin's egg. Oh, I I'm jealous. I saw another it. one today and I'm freaking out over it. You think that's a job too? It is a job too. Well, it's like it a... has been confirmed. Have, is have we has anybody confirmed? And you know you have better connections than I do, whether or not um we're getting the painted hard top for job two. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I've seen the inside of it. It's different than the mic top. Huh. Cool. Interesting. Right. Thank God. I'm okay with McCloth top, but I was just curious because I mean I think I, I I really like we have people ordering now and it's like if they knew that was coming, they would maybe put off. And mm -hmm. here's you know, like we even had that happen. We had people that got scheduled for 23s and then 24 they came out with the fact that the 12 inch screen was standard. You know how many people yeah. then put in a 24 and when the 23 came in, they didn't take it. Because wow. they wanted the twelve, the twelve Same inch screen, thing. and so then we were stuck with the twenty threes, mm. right? And this, it's going to happen for this too. Why don't I still we... have four. I, I think I still have four twenty threes that people walked away from because of the hard top or because of the touch screen. Yeah, I mean, why would you not? I mean, there's only a difference. I don't blame them a hundred percent, but like, yeah. I just think it was sh shitty on Ford to do that to us. Because they knew what was coming and they should have at least let us clear out our mm -hmm. inventory or at what's, least get us the cars that were sitting there for four months. Mm -hmm. What's funny too is how they've changed like Badlands, the interiors changed <laughs> and nobody, they've not really mentioned this. It's just now you get these stitched dash and stuff. And you're like, um, <laughs> hello, press yeah. release. It's still not that nice though. <laughs> No, but the colors are better. Like you get black seats now instead of like these two tone seats that don't go with anything. You get a black dash, which is I was begging for. I hate. I like the black center of our Badlands. I hate the top gray. The light gray is awful with it to me. Sorry, yeah, I, on your vehicle. I don't know. I just there's a lot of things that I think because there's there's a frustration I have is is that their communication with customers and to the dealers is just not like. Yes. I mean, it's okay to let people know. I mean, just like sometimes, like I'll tell people, well, you're not going to probably get scheduled this week or that, and they're like, well, at least now I know. I mean, they may not like the message, but at least they yeah. know. Yeah. And I don't know why like that. Now I know they had they had, the only place that I saw about the hard top was where Mitch had mentioned it and showed in the e-source book which i never use the e-source book yeah i just use the order guides and it was never on the order guide see that's where i think that was a fault of theirs they should have put on the order guide the late availability that usually means job 100%. two you know why not put that in they did that with trimmer they did that with the proaxis tailgate 
Yep. Why not put that in there yeah, so that we could be telling people <laughs> this is coming, you know, and we are getting kind of late for a job too, at this point, in my opinion. Yep. So that also means when are we going to see 25s again? It's going to be pushed until January, February. I can almost guarantee it. Well, I mean, and to be honest. But now we're having 25 explore. So it's like we have 23s on the lot. We have 24s and now we're going to get 25s. It's like it's still so jacked up. Well, it's the same way with Ranger. The Ranger's been such a late launch. And, you know, obviously the strike had something to do with that. But changeover is usually in what, end of July, 1st of August, somewhere there's where they start doing changeover for model change and then. So you're going to have like five, four months of vehicles out and then all oh, 25s are here. Mm -hmm. No, you'll, mean, still get, you'll still get 24s and 25s. Guarantee it. Oh, I'm yeah. But, uh, but people will now want to wait for the 25s. That's just human nature. They want the newest and latest number. So, yeah, I don't, don't want to get me started on my Maverick allocations. <laughs> <laughs> Most people don't want them, but I got people in line that want to order Mavericks from us. And I'm not gonna lie, we just like, got yeah. allocated like 62 for stock. See, <laughs> I knew that was happening. I knew that was gonna happen. That's That's I can't get my retails. Damn it. Well, okay. Okay, so, <laughs> to be so, to be fair, we did turn half of them down. Oh, can I? Oh, well, you're, not you're, 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 you're not in the KC region. If you're not in the KC region, I'd be asking. We we always, always ask for supplements. and We ask for 40 of those because yeah. we have 40 orders unscheduled. Someone and suggests that's that just they, crazy, Tim. Swap yeah, so you can swap. swap your allocations that you want or need. Yeah, you want a Bronco Sport? That would be fantastic. <laughs> Well, we'll make this like, like it's baseball card. Like it's 2024. <clears throat> like you should have more ability to swap across state lines, cross region lines. Because here's the thing. People aren't, I mean, the Bronco proved this. People aren't necessarily buying from their local dealer. I mean, we're proof in that. We drove to Michigan from Tennessee to pick up a Mustang. like, And we're getting a Ranger Raptor from there, too. Now, ours is because we want to get it as quick as we can. But, I mean. Well, we enjoyed dealing with that one. But, I mean, there's that, too. But I'm saying, like, in, in general, people are not necessarily buying from their hometown dealers anymore. Like, let's let's get with 2024, folks. Mm -hmm. And I mean that mm -hmm. to Ford headquarters. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I, I, I mean. Exactly, because what really happens is the region. So our region is like really benefiting from us. So mm -hmm. because, sure. and it's supposed to be based on sales volume. How many you sell? That's how you earn your allocations. Is the rolling mm -hmm. twelve month sales, and so we are selling a lot, right? And so we should be earning a lot, and mm -hmm. so we are. But now at the beginning of the year, they said, here's how many your estimate is. And they basically only gave us what our carryover orders were and no more. And they said, you're done for the year. So then we're supposed to have six months of zero allocations for this model. Wow. But yet we're earning them because we're the number, because we we're still number one after March and we sold 181 Mavericks. And, but you're going to give us zero allocations. How is that even fair? But how does that compute? But what happens is the yeah. region gets the benefit from us. So yeah. the region are still going to get their allocations based on all their dealers, including us. So then who, who gets the benefit? So instead of giving them to us, they're giving them to the other dealers in our region. So if you, if now I look at the Maverick numbers, the last, the, the month in February, there were five, four or five dealers outside of us in the KC region in the top 10 in the country. Why? Because they got allocations that we normally would have gotten, but they got them. I don't know. Again, rant. So sorry. Oh, you're in the right place. I just I get passionate about that, nation. you know. Listen, he's gonna do a WTF really over there in a minute. Right now, okay. <laughs> yeah, and it's like I've gotten all Mavericks and they're gone in one day. And you know, it just mm -hmm. all depends. So. And that's I mean, we we have and we might show that we have a lot, but we have some that turn them down, but we are still selling them every day. Exactly. So we don't right. not one of our Mavericks is over 30 days old. Right. Yeah. You know. But we're selling at MSRP, and most of there's those yeah. California dealers are five grand over. So they yeah. come by from us. And we've had two of our member, or what, one of our members bought two Mavericks from California, flew up, drove them back. He was just here last weekend. Yeah. For a second one. So, yeah. I mean, anyway, that's the thing. That's what people realize. And they just, they're done with all that. They'll, they'll order from the dealerships they want to because there's so many bad dealerships out there mm -hmm. that they want to start ordering from Allie's and Laura's and, you know, our yeah. dealers because you, mm -hmm. you know it's it's that. coming out 
that with Toyota bringing their new Tacomas out right now, how many of Toyota dealerships got used from the pandemic of just ripping off customers. And now Toyota's got to start cracking down on their dealers because it's like the bad dealers are outweighing the good dealers with, with that brand. Yeah. So I can only imagine with like F-150 Raptor dropping, you know, I've seen, I've seen, I know like Laura has one at MSRP, but I've seen a bunch of them out there for 30 to 40 K over. For most, I'm like, for most of those though, those are the R. Yeah. Yeah. But still, I mean, I, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not, saying, is, I'm not saying it's right, but we do it. I mean, not that high, but I mean, you know, yeah, well, ours I, is still bringing big money. <laughs> Right. Yeah. But, but I'm assuming, like, I know, Allie, you said you guys would if it's just dealer stock, but it's if you order something, like, some of these people are trying to order on, and, and on, even, on ours. No, ours are five. Well, ours are special allocations, to, yeah. right? Ours are five to 10 over, but like regular Bronco Raptor, F 150 Raptor. I mean, your guys' Ranger Raptor is the one that they're letting me get away with, basically. But, turd. Sorry. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of those right now. I don't know about you guys, but we've gotten four Ranger Raptor allocations now for the year. We have, I have, oh. we have I mean, six. We have six pulled, not including yeah. theirs, and one that's already built. So yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have eight this year. They're they're handing them out pretty mm -hmm. nicely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So we I've seen a bunch of them. We just requested four more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, worst they're gonna yeah. say is no. So that's yeah. right. I mean, we always ask for extra supplements on something. I mean, but there's some that we're I like, no, you, you can have them. <laughs> we want zero, like Maki. It's <laughs> like, nah, that's all right. You can have them. You know, right. I think last month, like one month, they gave us like four, and I'm like, we actually had three orders, including mine, and so we took all four. Um, but okay. um, so, but we, we have enough. We, we have enough. We can't get rid of. I'm good. We we know how to turn them. I mean, we have pretty good luck of how to turn them. So a lot of dealers won't discount them. And I don't think you're actually supposed to. Now you can. But before we were actually discounting them online before you were supposed to. And I'm like, I don't think we're supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> but um, we just know now that the MSR, the invoice isn't really the invoice. There's money that you that's made to all dealers. There's a certain percentage they get on that. And a lot of dealers don't know that that money's there. And so we, we use that money to, to sell it. So mm -hmm. I killed the market in the central <laughs> Illinois. We I, got a dealer close to us that has eight or 10 on their lot and they're not, not moving. And I'm like, you got to discount them people. <laughs> we have so, well, and the thing is like we get a plan. So like we uh, advertise a plan. I'm like, every, like ours, no one wants them. Yeah. Yeah. You're kind of in a weird situation <laughs> for us. We're like, yeah, that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. we show it's on everything because it's two grand at least under invoice. Well, once so. the tax credit went away, that was the only reason why they're buying them. Is what they yeah, mm -hmm. and that's why I was like trying to dump them before January. Same. Yeah. Well, clearly it sounds like Tim's uh, show over there tonight was uh, very very spunky. So go check the replay on it. <laughs> yes. Have yeah. It, yeah you could I'll check take it out. Catch yours over there on ATN Live. Catch the beginning. <laughs> Well, so you so you well it'll be over there but we've also we've also decided to keep it now oh, yeah. here as well the numbers the numbers just weren't translating yeah mm -hmm. were, and, and folks were having a hard time finding it so you know there's all of that we don't want people to miss out yeah. so we're gonna keep it here and and we'll have a replay on the other channel yeah we i think on ours like we'll have about what about two thousand three thousand that that like when we're done, like I can look at it and there's, I think there was, well, tonight's was a thousand views while we're on live, but then we'll end up getting up to close to 3000 in a week, you know, so they will, we'll, we'll get about two to 3000 people that will watch the replay. So. Yeah. This one was a different. Yeah. It didn't have Maverick in the title. <laughs> yeah. If it's Maverick, yeah. ours is golden. Like we get 20,000 views on any Maverick Monday video we have. <laughs> it's so crazy. You and Johnny. I mean that's awesome, but it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it's but Maverick are, shorts go what, crazy. What we traded one for. of our chassis super duties for a Maverick out west in Nebraska. And I was like, sweet, they're giving me the Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, so we did one last week uh, and then this wasn't really big news, but on the copilot 360 at fifteen thousand nine hundred nine oh seven in one week. Yeah. 
So, wow. <laughs> and the, the one before that. So we're doing a, a, a weekly. But the one before that was Adaptive Cruise, which is only available in Lariat, and it only got 1,700 views. Yeah. So uh, um, if Tim, it's related to all of them, then we'll get them. So. Uh, Tim's channel is the Long MacArthur or Ford Video Guy as well. So two channels there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on the Ford Video Guy, it's pretty much all about my Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> They might want to look at that. And yeah. you can only find me at Law MacArthur. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Except the occasional Bronco video where I'm sitting there with a drink. Oh, yeah, I, I think we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. Jess was talking about all the flashlight supervisation or supervising that she was doing this weekend. So yeah, that's what we did sure. in Colorado. He's like, I'm ready for this trail cam to be put in. <laughs> it's nine o'clock at night. It's dark out. Okay, got flashlight. We installed a, one of those dash cams instead of putting it in the back. We put it on the Bronco on the front at Colorado the night before the first trail drive. <laughs> Eight o'clock. Sure, you get your flashlight out. Let's get this done. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go get a drink. I go get a drink and I hear a pop. I'm like, okay, whatever. Come back. And he's like, look what I did. He had pop <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so we're doing this. Yeah, well. Now I know where to, where to run those wires, but yeah, we, I actually need to do that again, which is funny because, uh, um, when I installed the winch somehow the when I moved that wire up, it like cut the wire. So now I have to do it again. So. <laughs> Mark, the, you know about that cutting wires. On, yeah. on, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's an Easter egg hunt well, thing. At Badlands this weekend too. Is there? Uh, yeah, I wonder. Was, yeah. Well, well, well guys, I hate to do this. Uh, I've been up since five. So Five. And I know Tim and Sarah have been yes. at the dealer for a long time yes. too. So <laughs> and Mark over there, I think, is sleeping occasionally. Just says four. <laughs> four. Oh, wow. Mark says four. Six. Laura's probably in that ballpark too with her kiddos. <laughs> We're over here at six. I wake up about eight. <laughs> but on, a Tuesday, <laughs> on a Tuesday, I sleep in. <laughs> What's it like? You have I a cotton come, in the I back, come right? In until 11. I like I, I come in at eleven. She yeah. comes in early and then leaves yeah. for a couple hours. Yeah, <laughs> but we're we're working through sleep regression with one oh. and heating with the other. So, Ooh. we're having. So you're not getting any sleep anytime. No, <laughs> sleep's overrated. Sleep I don't miss those days. I don't get it. No, whenever we'll tire. <laughs> still won't have caffeine though. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. So whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, it doesn't matter what you drive as long as I get to bed soon. As long as we're talking Fords. <laughs> Jeez, Dave, finish it out. Peace. See ya. <laughs>